so much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Mika! <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippi. Hi, and I'm Mika. And today we are at Rockwood Music Hall. Yeah, in New York City, New York. Woohoo! I'm so excited to be in a space where musicians and singers get to share their music. Yeah, musicians and singers, they're so cool. And they play instruments. Ooh, maybe we'll see some of those. <laughs> yeah, hey, let's go explore. Okay, come on. <laughs> Oh, oh, check this place out! <laughs> yeah, there's yeah. instruments everywhere, and look, a drum Whoa. kit! <laughs> Mika, that is a cool drum kit! Oh! <laughs> nice! <laughs> yeah! Oh. oh! And do you know what these are for? Hmm, are those drumsticks? You know it! <laughs> yeah! Oh, thanks, Mika! You're welcome! Okay! Ooh. Okay! <laughs> Alright, we you can ready both play! For a drum off! Wait! Cool. They keep the beat. You have yeah. to have really good rhythm to be a drum player. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you know when you dance, you need rhythm? But if you want to play the drums, you also need rhythm. Yep. <laughs> Woo. Woo. Let's see what else is in here. Whoa. It's on this table. Oh, look. A little tambourine. <laughs> and a big tambourine. Hello. <laughs> yeah, these are percussion instruments. Yeah. <laughs> you also need rhythm for these. That's right. Oh, 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 oh! <laughs> Whoa. Whoa! What's that? This is a maraca! Whoa! Have you ever seen one of these before? Ooh. Yeah, it sounds like there's something inside. Yeah, what Whoa. do you think it is? Mm, maybe macaroni? Ooh, or beans? Beans! <laughs> <laughs> or maybe rice? Yeah! I don't know. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> I like how that sounds. Whoa, look at this! Oh, it looks Whoa. like a fish! <laughs> yeah, looks like a fish swimming in the sea. Mm -hmm, but <laughs> see all these lines in it? Oh, yeah, I do see those, Mika. If you take a Whoa. stick and run it over this area, it's gonna make a cool sound. Try it out, Blippi. Okay, yeah. here we go. <laughs> Nice! Oh, that's cool! Yeah. yeah! Oh, and it has holes, yeah! So the sound can make a lot of sounds that reverberate, and it gets really loud! Ooh. Yeah! Whoa! <laughs> that's cool! Oh, what's here? Whoa! Have you ever oh. seen one of these before? <laughs> hmm! It's a cowbell! Moo! <laughs> Moo! Here, try hitting it! Okay, are you ready? Mm -hmm. Let's hit the cowbell! Whoa. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Should I hit it again? Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. Flip it. You got the beat. Oh. <laughs> wow, that was fun. <laughs> Very nice. Ooh. And Mika, what about this? Here, you can hold the drumstick. Oh, do you know what shape this is? Hmm. Yeah, it's a triangle. Yep. Oh, look. It has three sides. One, two, Three! Yeah! Oh, Mika, you want to try to hit it and see if it makes a sound? Yeah, usually you would use like a little metal stick or something to hit a triangle, but I'm going to try the drumstick. Let's see what it does. <laughs> okay. Oh, Whoa. it's a very calming sound. Yeah, you hit it like a cowbell, but <laughs> sounds like that. Beautiful. Oh, a recorder. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know those. Oh, I think. You put your fingers over the holes here, mm -hmm. yeah, and then you blow into it. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa! Good job, Blippi! Oh, hey, I know another instrument that you blow into kind of like a recorder. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> hey, look, there's one here! A flute! This Whoa. is a flute. It's a woodwind <laughs> instrument. Look at Whoa. all of these buttons. Wow, there's a lot. A lot of keys. <laughs> so many. Yeah, and then see this part, the mouthpiece? Yeah. That's where you blow air into the instrument. Let's see if I can make a sound. Okay. <laughs> Whoa, that was so beautiful, Whoa. Mika. <laughs> Whoa. 
Oh, you're pretty good at the flute. Thank you. <laughs> I think I need a little more practice with the recorder. Here, let's try it the same time. Ready? Okay, here we go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Whoa, I wonder what's in this. Hmm. Ah. It's a case of some kind. Yeah. Instruments sometimes can be really delicate. Yeah. Hmm, that means uh, something that could break. Yeah, easily. <laughs> yeah, so hmm, let's open it up. <laughs> oh, what's inside? Oh, it looks like a tiny oh, keyboard. Check it out, yeah. It's so small. Mm -hmm. hmm. Ooh. Can I give you that case, Mika? Yeah. Whoa. Huh. And it comes with this tube. <laughs> <laughs> so funny looking. Hey, look at this. Bet if we put that there, oh, maybe I should blow into the tube and see if it makes a sound. <laughs> okay, hey, I bet we can play this with teamwork. Oh, awesome. <laughs> okay, so you hit the keys okay. and I'll blow into it. Okay, ready? <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> Whoa. Let's do it again, ready? Okay, here we go. Okay. called a melodica. Melodica. <laughs> melodica. <laughs> That's a fun instrument. <laughs> oh, and Mika, what's that? Oh, this is an acoustic guitar. Oh, check it out. Yeah. It has strings on it. Yeah, <laughs> how many strings are on this guitar? Ooh, will you count them with us? Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> Ooh, that sounds really pretty. Oh, yeah, a guitar has strings, and each string is a different note. That's right. <laughs> but, Mika, what's it called when you play all the notes together? A chord. Ooh, so beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was a pretty chord. Yeah, I love stringed instruments. Me They're too. They're really, really cool. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, this is a pretty cool guitar. Yeah. Ooh, what other <gasps> instruments have strings? Uh, come right over here and look. Oh, oh. A piano! Whoa. Yeah, check it out, it's a piano! Yeah, here, come closer. <laughs> oh, do you see inside? Oh, what do we see? There's Ooh. so many strings in there. <laughs> yeah, well, that's a lot more than six. <laughs> yeah, a lot. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think there's about 230 strings in a piano. 230 <laughs> strings? Oh, <laughs> well, that's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot, and if you come over here, you'll oh. see the other end well, where all here. of the keys of the piano are. Oh, yeah. <laughs> a guitar, you strum. Mm -hmm. But a piano, even though there are strings, hit the keys. Ooh. That's right. Oh, here, have the seat. Ooh, thank you. Ooh. <laughs> oh, have the seat. Thank you so much. <laughs> hey, because we both like to play the piano, should we play a duet? Mm. Yeah. A duet <laughs> is when two people perform the same piece together. Okay. Okay, I'll play the low part. You can play the high part. Okay. <gasps> <sighs> okay, here we go. Ready. <laughs> slower than you. That's right, we want to play in the same, same time. time. Exactly, yeah. so first things first, you need to pick out an instrument. Mm, okay, um, hmm. Ooh, I think I'll take this fish <laughs> and a drumstick. Ooh. Good choice. 
I think I will also use a drumstick and I'm gonna play the cowbell. Oh, <laughs> that's fun. Okay, so we're gonna take turns making up a song. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah. But um, what should we sing about? We should sing about, <gasps> I'm feeling a little hungry. Mm, me Maybe too. we should sing about food. Oh, food, I love food. <laughs> me too. Mm. Um, hmm, who goes first? So I can go first so I okay. can show you how to play. And okay. it's two lines and the second line has to rhyme. That's the Whoa. tricky part. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> that sounds like a lot of fun, but yeah. a little tricky because you need a rhyme. Exactly. Mm. So I'll say two lines and then you say two lines. And if we both rhyme, we win the round. <laughs> yeah, okay. Let's try it. Okay, ready? <laughs> Let's keep a steady beat. Okay, a song about food. I like vegetables and I like fruit, but I hope I don't spill food on my suit. I really like to eat ice cream. I think Mika and me make a nice team. <laughs> that was so good. Yay! Nice. Wow, that was awesome. Woo. It's hard, right? Yeah, really hard. You have to think so much. Yeah, you really have to focus to keep the beat and try to rhyme. Well, it's kind of like patting your head and rubbing your tummy. <laughs> Basically. Mm. Okay, you choose the next subject. Hmm, okay. Uh, this time, let's do, woo, colors. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Hmm. Uh, and this time, I'll go first. Yes. Okay, let's go. <laughs> my favorite colors are orange and blue. I know how to tie my shoe. Purple and yellow, that's my thing. I like to dance and I like to sing. Wow, that was a good rhyme. We did it again, yeah. round two. Yeah. <laughs> that was tricky. Yeah, thanks but we for got it. playing that game with me, Cliffy. Oh, yeah, I had a lot of fun playing with you, Mika. And thank you for playing along with us. Well, that's the end of this video. I hope you liked the Blippi Mika show. Can you spell my name with me? Everybody spell it. One, two, three. <laughs> okay. Will you spell my name with us? Okay, here we go. <laughs> B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Philippi, good job. <laughs> <laughs> hey, will you spell my name with us? Cool. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. <laughs> <laughs> well, see you soon. Yep, we'll see you next time. <gasps> hey, it's me, Mika. And today we're at Posh and Petite Playhouse in Woodland Hills, California. <laughs> Did you know this is a place where we can explore and be curious about different jobs? <laughs> I can't wait to try different jobs like an ice cream maker or a firefighter. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Which way should we go? Oh, check out this road. <laughs> Look, it's black with white stripes. Oh, black and white are opposite colors. Opposites mean they're completely different from one another. Kind of like, oh, night and day, or hot and cold. <laughs> oh, check it out. Do you see that horse over there? Oh, let's drive our car over to him. <laughs> Hello, horsey. <laughs> I'm gonna name him Popsicle, cause I really love Popsicle. <laughs> Can you pretend to be a horse? <gasps> Nay! Whoa! Oh, he's got a lot of horsepower. Let's go! <laughs> Check it out, it's a marketplace. We can buy healthy fruits and vegetables here and make delicious meals. I know, let's be a grocer. <laughs> All right, see you later, Popsicle. First, we need our basket. <laughs> wow, check it out. If we wanna be a grocer, we have to get some items to put in our basket so we can ring it up. First, we'll need some alphabet soup. That's healthy and delicious. And how about some peas and carrots? And, ooh, mushrooms too. Check out all these healthy fruits and vegetables. Fruits and vegetables are good for your body because they help you grow strong. <laughs> I got it. Let's play a game. Fruit or 
or vegetable? A carrot. It's orange and crunchy, and bunny rabbits love to eat them. Mmm, tasty. <laughs> Do you know if this is a fruit or a vegetable? Oh, that's right, a vegetable. Great job. All right, how about this? It's a cucumber. It's green and it has seeds. Fruits have seeds and vegetables don't. Fruit or vegetable? Oh yeah, that's a tricky one. It's a fruit, even though it seems like it's a vegetable. But great job. Hmm. Oh, yum. A strawberry. Strawberries are really, really sweet. Is a strawberry a fruit or a vegetable? <laughs> awesome. A fruit. One fruit point, please. Hmm. Oh, look, a lemon. Lemons are one of my favorite colors, yellow, and they're really sour. Can you pretend to taste a sour lemon? <laughs> Whoa! Oh, sour is the opposite of sweet. Strawberries are sweet, but lemons are sour. Is this a fruit or a vegetable? <laughs> right, a fruit, just like the sweet strawberry. Okay. Ooh, check it out, a piece of corn. Mmm, <gasps> that's delicious. Do you know if it's a fruit or a vegetable? <laughs> right, a yummy vegetable. All right, let's go check out now. Welcome to Mika's Marketplace. Oh, I see you got corn. And you're in luck, because we have a special on corn. Just one cent. And a lemon. And our sweet strawberry. And a delicious carrot. And alphabet soup. Peas and carrots. Mmm, mushrooms. Wow, you got so many healthy options. <laughs> Being a grocer is so much fun. We even got to help a customer take home delicious vegetables to make yummy meals. <laughs> Let's go see what other jobs we can do. Yeehaw! Hey, we're at an ice cream shop. I know, let's pretend to be ice cream makers. I scream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Let's go! Welcome to Mika's Magical Ice Cream Parlor. What's that? Fresh baked cookies? <laughs> Coming right up. Look at that, fresh out the oven. Oh, they smell delicious. Let's count them. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve crispy cookies. Let's taste one. Mmm, that's delicious. Would you like a bite? <laughs> there you go. Mmm. <laughs> Do you know what this is? That's right, a purple popsicle, just like my horse's name. <laughs> Would you like a popsicle? There you are, one for you and one for me. Oh, that's really cold. Perfect for a hot day. Oh, those are opposites, hot and cold. When I'm cold, oh, it makes me shiver. But when I'm hot, oh, I could sure use a popsicle. <laughs> Would you like some ice cream today? <gasps> Great. How many scoops? <laughs> Five scoops? Okay, here we go. <gasps> One chocolate scoop. Two, a vanilla scoop. Three, mint chocolate chip. <laughs> There you go, friend. Perfect. Four, a strawberry scoop. And five 
leave a vanilla scoop on top. <laughs> wow, it's stacked up so high. <laughs> I love being an ice cream maker. I love scooping ice cream and tasting it too. Hey, I'm pretty good at it. <laughs> okay, let's see what other jobs we can do. <gasps> oh, don't forget Popsicle. Hello, Popsicle. Are you ready? Are you set? Go! <gasps> wow, check it out. We're in front of a fire station. A firefighter's job is to put out fires. Do you want to be a firefighter with me? <laughs> awesome, let's go. This is a cool fire station. Oh, look, a fire truck. It's red and really long too. <laughs> and look at these trucks. Let's go park. All right, to the parking lot we go. <laughs> oh, and look at these trucks. They're really big. Oh, and these trucks are small. Big and small. Those are opposites. How about this one? Big or small compared to this truck? Pretty small, right? <laughs> but what about compared to this one? Oh. Now it's really big. <laughs> Do you hear that? It's a siren. Oh, we got to get ready to go. Put out a fire. Hello? Yes? Fire? On one, two, three, fire road? Oh, no. Let's go. Grab our hose. <gasps> Firefighter Mika is on the way. Grab my hose and save the day. Oh, awesome. We just put out a fire. Oh, <laughs> that was so much fun. Thanks for helping me. You're very brave. Firefighters are really brave. <laughs> Let's go see what other jobs we can do. Whoa, look, an animal hospital. This is where veterinarians work. Veterinarians are doctors, but for animals. Would you like to be a veterinarian with me? <laughs> awesome, let's go. Oh, look at these doors. A small door for turtles and hamsters and gerbils too, and a medium door for bunny rabbits and ducks. Quack, quack and ferrets and guinea pigs too. And a large door for cats and dogs. Large and small, those are opposites. <laughs> cool. Oh, and look at this door for birdies. Oh, that's another opposite. High and low, low and high. <laughs> Let's pretend to be birds Fly into the vet's office. Tweet, 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 tweet. <laughs> oh, do you hear that? Paging Dr. Mika, you have a patient ready. Okay. Oh, and check it out. Here's our patient. Hello, puppy. How are you today? Little scratches, scratches. Did your family bring you here for a checkup? Oh, awesome. All right, let's get started, boy. We have a stethoscope. Stethoscopes are for hearing what's inside of your body, like your heart. <gasps> oh, may I check your heart too? <gasps> Great. Wow, that sounds nice and strong. Okay, let's check puppy's heart. This might be a little cold. <gasps> wow, that sounds so healthy and strong. You must be getting on your daily walks, huh? Don't forget to hydrate, okay? Doctor's orders. <laughs> oh, being a veterinarian is so much fun. I love helping animals and their families too. <laughs> oh, 
Now that I checked out the whole town, I'm gonna hit the road. Are you ready, Popsicle? <laughs> Let's go! Giddy up! <laughs> Thank you so much for exploring different jobs with me today. <laughs> if I had to choose, I'd be a ice cream maker, grocer, animal doctor, firefighter. <laughs> all at once. <laughs> they were all so much fun, I can't just pick one. <laughs> but you know the best part? Exploring with you, friend. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Can you spell my name with me? Oh, great! M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika! <laughs> okay, friends, see you later. Bye-bye! Hey, it's me, Mika. And today I'm at Billy Bee's in Anaheim, California. Billy Bee's is an indoor playground, so it's a great place to play and have fun and use our imaginations. Come on! Whoa! Hey, it looks like we're in a town. We could definitely use our imaginations here. <gasps> Wait, this looks like a mailbox. Huh, I actually have something I need to mail. A note for my grandma. <laughs> there you go. Nice. Whoa! Come in here. Hey! We could imagine that we're at a grocery store. Yeah! Have you ever been to a grocery store before to pick out some yummy food? Hmm, let's see. Ooh, waffles. That's yummy for breakfast. There's lots of breakfast food here. Cereal. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, cheese crackers. And a mini pretzels. Let's go, get to pay for it. <laughs> okay, I'll just ring myself up. Okay, let's see, what do we have here? Cheese crackers, okay. And we have some cereal. Oh, quite a deal. I love this store. Waffle, and pretzels, okay. Looks like it's, oh, only three dollars? Wow. Okay, looks like I can take my snacks and go home. <laughs> oh, it's so fun to use your imagination, right? All right, well, let's keep playing. I wonder what else is in this town. Hmm. Hey, this looks super fun. Oh, come in here. We could imagine that we're in school. Whoa, a clock. So colorful. <laughs> Will you count with me? Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, oh, <laughs> nine, ten, eleven, twelve. <gasps> it looks like it's time for school to start. We better get to class. <clears throat> Everyone settle, settle, settle. Hello, I'm your teacher, Teacher Mika. Okay, today we are going to learn how to count strawberries. Ready, class? <clears throat> A one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten strawberries. Good job. <laughs> oh, what's this? Look at this. I see a pattern. Blue, yellow, red. Blue, yellow, red. Blue, yellow. Do you know what's next? That's right. Red. Whoa. <laughs> well, it looks like Class is over, everyone. You deserve a break. Go outside and play. <laughs> All right, how else can we use our imagination? What's this? Oh, interesting. Hmm, 
Looks like some toy tools and instruments. Hey, these are all things that doctors and nurses use, like a stethoscope. Let's check my heartbeat here. Dun, dun. Dun, dun. Dun, dun. Heartbeat. Dun, dun. Heartbeat. Dun, dun. Heartbeat. Dun, dun. Heartbeat. Wow. My heartbeat has a good beat. <laughs> what else? Hmm. Oh, maybe you would wear this name tag so everyone would know what your name was. Dr. Mika. <laughs> That's cool. And nutritious nibbles for healthy and happy kids. <laughs> That's really funny. Looks like pretend vitamins or something. Oh, have you ever seen a tool like this? Sometimes doctors use something like this to check your reflexes. Let's check my reflexes. <clears throat> All right. Usually they hit you in the knee right here. Ready? Whoa! Did you see that? Let me try the other leg. <laughs> I have really good reflexes. <laughs> All right, I'll put this back. <sighs> it's so fun playing. I wonder what else they have here. Come on. Whoa. Hey, look over here. Even with basic shapes, you can use your imagination. Like, come down here. This is a my dog house. I have a dog in here. Do you want to say hi? Okay. Come on out, Rover. Oh, oh. he's sleeping, taking a little nap. Oh, <laughs> hey, and I could pretend that this is a trampoline. Will you bounce with me? Okay. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> this trampoline is awesome. Whoa. <laughs> oh, and we could pretend that this is a mailbox. Oh, I got a note back from my grandma. Dear Mika, thanks for the note. See you next Saturday for our tea party. Oh, she's so sweet. <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, we could pretend that these blocks are my next door neighbor's house. Let's put some blocks here together to make a house. Oh, I like this one. Do you know what color this is? Yellow, one of my favorite colors. And it's a one, two, three, four, Square! <laughs> nice. Okay. Hmm. I'm gonna put it like this. And here's the roof. This is my neighbor's house. I'm just keeping an eye on it while they're on vacation. And ooh, come with me to the rainforest. Maybe we could ride our skateboard through the rainforest. Whoa, this is so fun. Whoa. <laughs> whoop, whoop. Whoa, what is this? Maybe we could zip line through the rainforest. Woo! <laughs> and we could pretend like we're worms and dig through the dirt. Here we go. It's so much fun to use your imagination. Do you want to play some more? All right, let's do it. Over here, look, a circle. Oof, I'm gonna crawl through. Hello, another circle, see? Whoa. <laughs> hmm, I wonder what's down here. Hey, we could imagine that this is a colorful snake or a macaroni necklace. Have you ever made a necklace out of macaroni? <laughs> and I notice a pattern. See? Maroon, yellow, maroon, oh, excuse me, <clears throat> yellow. So cool, right? Oh, excuse me. It also kind of looks like ketchup, mustard, ketchup, mustard. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Hey, I see a yellow slide. Hello. Hello. And I think there's one down here too.
too. Yeah, a green slide. Hmm, which slide should I go down? Yellow or green? Yellow or green? Yellow or green? Hmm, I think green. Hey, will you meet me at the bottom of the slide? All right. See you there. Whoa! <laughs> that was so fun! Hey! <gasps> Let's imagine that these are colorful logs on a rushing river! Okay. Let's see if I can get to the top without falling in the water. Can I do it? <gasps> I got this! I got this! I got this! I did it! <laughs> oh, it's over here! Whoa, check this out. Maybe this is a big vine that we have to get past, but it's always in the way. Whoa! <laughs> Come on. Hey, look, more logs on the river. Butter, butter. Whoa, <laughs> this is so cool. Come on. More logs. Oh. You have to be careful. It's going down the water. <laughs> oh, I see another big vine. We're coming for you, vine. Whoa! <laughs> Pretty good, huh? <laughs> what else is over here? Oh, I see something. I have to go get it. Goodbye! <laughs> I had so much fun with you today. I Billy Bees. It was really cool using our imaginations. Remember, we pretended to go to school, pretended to be doctors, we went to the grocery store. Oh, I wrote a letter to my grandma and she wrote back right away. <laughs> I had such a good time moving my body and playing. Thank you so much for learning with me today. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. <laughs> All right, I'll see you next time. Oh, bye. <laughs> hey, it's me, Mika. And today I'm at Play Lab in Eagle Rock, California. There's so many different kinds of toys to play with inside. There's even dinosaur toys. <laughs> and my friend Naisha is stopping by to teach us colors in American Sign Language. Let's go. Cool, a train table. Have you ever played with toy trains before? They're so fun. <gasps> Look at this one. There's one, two, three, four cars. And they're sticking together. Check it out. They're magnetic, meaning they attract to each other. See, they stick together. Whoa, look at the wheels. Let's see the colors on top of here. We have orange, black, red, and red. All right, Conductor Mika is ready to take this train on a trip. All aboard! All right, guess it's time for me to keep playing. See you later, train. <laughs> Let's go over here. This is a cool room to play in. Hey. Hello? <gasps> Hi, Grandma. Uh-huh. Oh, I'm just playing with my friends. Yeah, yeah. Can I call you back? Okay, bye, Grandma. <laughs> oh, and look, there's little babies in here. Oh, it's so cute. Hi, baby. Oh, what? Oh, it's nap time. Shh. Hey, I wonder if I could climb up here. It's kind of small, do you think I'll fit? All right, 
I'll try it. Hello, up here. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Oh, it looks like I'm on a bridge. Oh, and there's a little slide. Three, two, one. Whoa. <laughs> what? You see dinosaurs? Oh, I love dinosaurs. Whoa, these are really cool. Look at this one. See the plates on the back? Oh, that means hello. <laughs> Whoa, and this one has a crest. You know, a lot of dinosaurs that have a crest like this, instead of roaring, they would kind of sound like honk, honk, <laughs> honk, honk. Whoa, this one has some sharp teeth in there. Ooh. Very cool. And this one has wings so we can fly. Whoa. These dinosaur toys are so cool. My favorite dinosaur is the T-Rex. I wonder if they have a T-Rex here. It's not that one. Not this one with the long neck. T-Rexes don't have long necks. Oh, here it is. Hi, Mika. Hey, T-Rex, how are you? I'm fine, I wanna go down the slide. Oh, <laughs> you have to ask nicely. Can I go down the slide, please? Oh, sure, here we go. All right, are you ready? Three, two, one. What's wrong? Oh, he's a little bit nervous. Let's just say, you can do it, you got this. Okay. You can do this, you got this. Come on, T-Rex, yeah, you did it. Oh, I'm so proud of you. Thank you. <laughs> Aw, that was fun. Whoa, look at these blocks. They're soft and squishy. Hmm, maybe we could build a tower. Let's see if I could build a tower as tall as me. Whoa. Okay. I have to get even taller than that. Oh. Have to have really good balance blocks. Oh no. Come on. Taller. Taller. It has to be taller. We gotta make the blocks even taller and taller. Come on, blocks. Taller and no. <laughs> That's okay. Let me clean up real fast. <laughs> Aisha. Oh, who's your friend? This is my friend who's an interpreter. Her name is Rory. Oh, hi, Rory. I'm Mika. Hi, Mika. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. So Rory's an interpreter, so she's going to help us communicate, which is good because I only know a little bit of sign language. And I'm so excited that you are both here so that we can learn some colors in American Sign Language. All right. Yes, we can. So let's start with, ooh, what about this balloon? Do you know what color this is? It's orange. So how do we say orange in American Sign Language? Like this? Okay, are you doing it? Orange. Good job. Cool, all right, that orange. <laughs> ooh, what about this one? It's one of my favorite colors. Do you know what it is? Purple, that's right. So how would we say purple? Oh, the letter P, right? Purple. Yeah, because P is the first letter in the word purple. I got it, cool. Bye, purple. Oh, do you know what color this balloon is? It's Pink, good job. Okay, so how would we say pink? So the letter P again, and then you hit your chin like this. Pink, good job. All right, bye pink. <laughs> Ooh, what about this little balloon? Do you know what color this is? It's blue. Ooh, like my fingernails. <laughs> 
how do we say blue in American Sign Language? Okay, so the letter B and then kind of wave it like that. Cool, are you trying it? Good job, blue! Bye, blue! And this balloon is what color? Red! Nice! So how would we say red? Okay, so you take one finger and you rub your chin like this. Red. <laughs> nice. Bye, red. Oh, yes. Another one of my favorite colors. Do you know what it is? Yellow. Okay, how do we say yellow in American Sign Language? Okay, so like the letter Y and then wave it. Can you do that? Yellow. Good job. Bye, yellow. Wow, thank you so much for teaching us how to say those colors in American Sign Language. It's great to see you and to be able to teach you. Oh, it's good to see you too. And really nice meeting you, Rory. All right, I'm gonna keep playing inside, but I hope to see you two later. <laughs> Bye. Oh, cool. There are more toys in here. A helicopter. A little car. Uh oh, he needs a driver. Oh, I can drive. Oh, you can. Can I see your driver's license? Whoop, looks like you. Yep, okay, get on in. All right, enjoy the ride. Whoa, whoa, hey, slow down. My bad, it's okay. Nice park job. Oh, look at these circles. See a red circle. <gasps> oh, hi. <laughs> nice smile. <laughs> and let's see what's under the orange one. Oh, another friend. Hello. And another orange. <gasps> hi. Oh, cool blue glasses. And let's look under this yellow one. Oh, hi. <laughs> And look, look under this other yellow one. Oh, hello. <laughs> I didn't know there were gonna be friends in there. Oh, cool, check out these shapes. It looks like this one's missing, but we could start with this circle. All right, let's go right there. And, oh, a triangle. All right, see you later, triangle. Do you know what this is? It has one, two, three, four, five sides. That's a pentagon. All right, later pentagon. And this is a trapezoid. Yeah, very cool shape. Go in there. Yeah, they all fit. Nice. Whoa, look at these colorful blocks. Let's check them out together. Hmm, let's see. I like this blue one and purple. Hmm, yellow or is this orange? This one's more like yellow, right? Yeah, orange, yellow, pink, and red. Wait a second. These are the colors that we learned with Naisha, remember? American Sign Language? Let's see if we can remember, okay? Do you remember how to say red? Red. Yeah, good job. What about pink? Do you remember how to sign pink? Pink. Pink. Good job. Ooh, what about yellow? I really like this one. Yellow. Remember? <laughs> and orange. Orange is, yeah. Orange and purple, one of my favorites. Remember, purple, good job. And what about blue? Yeah, make the letter B, blue. Good job, that was so fun learning that today. <laughs> hey, I had so much fun playing with you today at Play Lab. There's so many different toys inside. 
We got to play with trains and dinosaurs, <laughs> and blocks, and my friend Naisha taught us some colors and American Sign Language. Wasn't that so cool? Thanks for learning with me. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Great! <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. Okay, friends. Bye! Hi! It's me, Mika! And today I'm at the American Museum of Natural History in New York City. Do you know what's inside of this museum? All different kinds of animals and dinosaurs. And I heard that they have one of my favorite dinosaurs, a T-Rex. Do you know what a T-Rex looks like? I have one in my jam pack. Whoa, here it is. <laughs> hey, will you come with me and see if we can find a T-Rex inside? Let's go. Whoa, I'm inside of the museum. I can't wait to find the T-Rex. Whoa, <laughs> that is definitely not the T-Rex. Do you know what that is? It's a blue whale. Oh, and look. I see a bandage on that whale. <laughs> Even whales get boo-boos. <laughs> Did you know that the blue whale is the biggest animal on the planet? <laughs> it's so cool. <laughs> oh, I see someone over there who works at the museum. I bet they have more whale facts. Come on. Oh, hi. Hello. I'm Mika, what's your name? Alexandra. Hi, Alexandra. So I bet you know something about the blue whale. Yes. You do, what do you do here? I'm an educator. Oh, an educator. So yeah, you definitely know. Um, what do blue whales eat? Blue whales eat tiny krill. Whoa, look at these tiny shrimps. Can you believe a big blue whale likes to eat these tiny little shrimps? <laughs> <laughs> wow, well, do blue whales have teeth like us? No, they don't have teeth. They have baleen. Baleen? Oh, whoa, feels like straw. Can you imagine if you had straw in your mouth instead of teeth? Ugh. <laughs> so how do they eat? They open up their mouth. Okay. Very, very big. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. They take a cup of water, <gasps> put krill in it. Mm -hmm. Then they push the water out with their tongue. And what's inside? The mm. krill. Mm. Cool. <laughs> that seems really complicated. <laughs> that is not how I eat at all. Wow. And what is that? It looks like a big bone. This is a Part of the well, vertebrae. The vertebrae. Well, mm -hmm. we have those. You can yeah. feel it in your back. Yeah. Can I hold it? Yes, sure. Whoa. Oh, this is so heavy. Look how big this is. Ours are so tiny. Blue whales are huge. <laughs> okay. Here, I'll give that back to you. you. Wow. Well, thanks for sharing those facts with us. I'm gonna keep exploring, but maybe I'll see you later. See you later. All right, awesome, <laughs> come on. Where is the T-Rex? Where, where is the T-Rex? Whoa. That is not the T-Rex, but it is a very large mammal. Do you know what it is? It's a walrus. Oh, not a real walrus, this is just a model. But this looks pretty much exactly like a real walrus. Whoa. Do you see those big tusks? They're made out of ivory and they're really strong and really sharp. And that one looks like the size of my arm, maybe even bigger. Look, can you imagine if you had something that big hanging out of your mouth? Could you even find a toothpick big enough to clean that thing? <laughs> they can use them when they're in the water to poke into the ice and pull their bodies up. Very helpful. <laughs> Will you act like a walrus with me? Okay, get your tusk out. <clears throat> Let's keep looking for the T-Rex. Mm, 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 mm. Walrus out. Mm, mm, mm. Wow, you're so funny. That's why you're my favorite. That is why you are my favorite dinosaur. <laughs> oh, hey! I'm still trying to find the T-Rex, but I don't see any dinosaurs anywhere. <laughs> Let's keep looking over here. Maybe we can find something. <gasps> Whoa! Gorillas! Gorillas are super cool. They're really big, they're really strong, they're hairy, 
they can stand up tall just like humans. But the male gorilla is 10 times stronger than a human. That's pretty strong. <laughs> Will you act like a gorilla with me? All right, let me see your muscles. Pound your chest. Let's keep looking for more animals. Whoa, yeah, I feel strong just acting like a gorilla. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. See in the back there? A giraffe. Giraffes are so tall. They can get up to 18 feet tall. That's really, 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 really tall. And they have super long black tongues. Isn't that cool? <laughs> Do you know what that animal is? That's right, a zebra. Zebras are awesome. They have black and white stripes and a group of zebras is called a dazzle. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Check out that dazzle of zebra over there. <laughs> they run super fast and they can run in zigzags. Will you zigzag with me? All right, let's go. Run in zigzag. <laughs> Whoa, elephants are so big, so they have to eat a lot of food. Actually, most of their day is filled with eating. They're herbivores, so they're vegetarians. They don't eat meat. Oh, and look, big tusks, just like those walruses. <laughs> hey, will you act like an elephant with me? Get your trunk out. Ready? <laughs> Maybe you can stomp like an elephant. big cats are lions. I love lions because they have really big roars. Kind of like the T-Rex. <laughs> See that one with the mane, all of the hair? That's a male lion. That's how you know, because it has a mane. The other lions that don't have manes are females. And a group of lions is called a pride. <laughs> I still don't see any dinosaurs though. Will you keep looking with me? All right, come on. Wow, we're in the dinosaur room. There has to be a T-Rex here, right? That means yes. <laughs> Let's keep looking. Oh, there's a dinosaur over there. Ah, oh, long tail, lots of teeth, but that's pretty small. A T-Rex is way bigger than that dinosaur. <laughs> it's almost as little as this toy dinosaur. Hello. <laughs> hmm. Oh, look at this dinosaur. Whoa, it has a long neck. Its head is going back really far. Oh, I wonder if it's a dancing. <laughs> nice moves, but not a T-Rex. Hmm. I can't see the T-Rex anywhere. Do you see a T-Rex? Looks like this, big head, so many teeth, really big talons. <gasps> it's right there, the T-Rex, my favorite dinosaur. <gasps> Whoa, look how big the head is. See those big jaws with tons of teeth? Wow, they're so sharp and there's so many of them. Did you know that the T-Rex could have up to 50 to 60 teeth in its mouth? That's a lot of teeth. <laughs> Whoa, you can see the whole body of the T-Rex. The head, the ribs, the big legs, the big feet. Roar! Roar! <laughs> oh, hello. Hi. Hi, I'm Mika, what's your name? Hi, my name is Alana. Hi, Alana, what do you do here? I'm a museum educator. Whoa, a museum educator, so you must know a lot about dinosaurs. I do. Oh, cool, well, I'm really excited because my favorite dinosaur is the T-Rex. I really like the T-Rex also. Oh yeah? Well, yeah, what's one of the reasons you love the T-Rex? I like the T-Rex because it was one of the biggest predators. Oh, I know, it's very cool, the T-Rex is Huge, has a really big head and legs and a really big tail. 
You know, they use that big tail to help them balance. Oh yeah, that's right, because their heads are really heavy, right? Really big heads. Yeah, so the tail helps them balance. Like that. You know what else <laughs> I like about the T-Rex? What? Look at this big foot here. Whoa, is this a real foot of a T-Rex? This is a model. Okay, okay. But this is like an exact replica. Yeah, you can see how big it was. Whoa, am I allowed to touch it? You can touch it. Okay. Wow, look at these toenails. <laughs> <laughs> They're so big and pointy. So they had three big toes uh -huh. on their back foot. You know what else I like about the T-Rex? What? How big their teeth were. Oh yeah, they have really big teeth. Look at this. <gasps> Whoa, look how big this tooth is. This is a model of a real T-Rex tooth. Wow, can you imagine if your teeth were this big? Look, is it the same? That's really big. What do you think they might have liked to eat with a tooth this big? Oh, probably meat, yeah. right? They were carnivores. Oh, so they were meat eaters. Great. Cool, and what's this? It looks like a big rock. It is a rock, except it's a very special rock. Oh, why? This is a fossil of a dinosaur bone. A real dinosaur a bone? A real dinosaur bone. Would you like to touch it? Yes, please. It's heavy. Okay. Well, let's see. Let's see. Okay. All right. It's a little heavy, but it's a real fossil of a dinosaur bone. That's amazing. And what part of the dinosaur is this? That was from their leg or their thigh bone. Oh, so like <laughs> down here. Right there. Wow. That's amazing. Thanks for sharing this with me. Yeah. So is the T-Rex the biggest dinosaur? It wasn't the biggest dinosaur, but this museum has a model of one of the biggest dinosaurs. What, can we see it? You wanna go see it? Yeah. Let's go. All right, come on. Wow. Whoa, it's so big. Whoa. It keeps going and going and going. <laughs> this is called a titanosaur. Titanosaur, wow, it's really cool. So the titanosaur family was a group of dinosaurs that were sauropods and herbivores. Oh, I know what a sauropod is. That means it walked on four feet. That's right. Ooh. <laughs> and an herbivore means that it was a plant eater. That's right. Yeah, very neat. Now this titanosaur is over 120 feet long. Whoa, or 37 meters. <laughs> That's and, really long. And it weighed almost as much as 10 elephants. Whoa, 10 elephants. That's very, very heavy. Wow. But you know what's cool about this one? This one was just a juvenile, which means it's kind of like a teenager. Whoa, so it's not even fully grown? It gets bigger than this? It does. Wow, that's incredible. Thank you so much for showing me, th showing me this titanosaur. I had fun with you. I have to go teach a class. Oh, but I'll see you soon. Okay, see ya, thanks again. Wow, what a fun day. We got to see so many cool animals like that big blue whale and walruses and lions. And we got to see my favorite dinosaur of all time, the T-Rex. <laughs> Did you have a fun day? <laughs> Me too. Well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to have more fun and see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. <laughs> all right, we'll see you next time. <sighs>
a lot. <laughs> oh, I wonder if they have two of my favorite colors. Do you know what they are? <laughs> oh, they're purple and yellow. <gasps> and they're right next to my best friend Blippi's favorite colors. Blue and orange. Huh, that's cool. Wow. These are all the different wood pieces that you can use to make art. Oh, look at this one. It's pretty small. You can have a small sign that says, welcome. <laughs> or, whoa, look at this. This giant rectangle could make a really cool sign and it could hold a lot of words. Maybe it could say something like, Welcome, friends. Come on inside for snacks and games and good times. We love our friends. Welcome. <laughs> and here's a square. One, two, three, four even sides. And there's bigger squares up there. Hmm. Oh, cool. A circle. A small circle and a really big circle. Hmm. Which one should I choose? I think I like this one, the medium stack square. That's number 07. We have to remember that, 07. Okay, come on. Oh, hi Margie. Oh, hi Mika. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm pretty good. I'm excited to make art today. Awesome, so did you pick a size? Yes, number 07. Perfect, and did you wanna add anything to that? Oh, um, oh, maybe that silver hook right there. Okay. Oh, and can I also have that bow tie for my best friend? <laughs> Absolutely. So we have your station set up over here. You ready to get started? Yeah, let's do it. All right, let's go. All right, let's go. Okay, we have everything we need. We have lots of cool paint, two of my favorite colors, purple and yellow. Oh, well, this one's called dandelion. Fancy. And we have pearl and latte. We also have a paint roller. Easily put on the paint. And we have some sponges. We have silver hooks. And we have our crown stapler, our power stapler, and the stacked wood piece that I picked out. See, it's actually four little pieces. And when they're stacked together, it makes one beautiful square. <laughs> And what are these for? So these are actually to hold the wood stack pieces together. Oh, okay, makes sense. So what's the first thing we need to do? So your first step is to put a line of glue on each one and then flip them over. Okay, I think I can do that. Okay. Now what? So we have these lines here, and those oh, yeah. are actually where you are going to put the staples. Oh, so these lines, it's like a little guide. Exactly. So first we are gonna put our safety glasses oh, on. Oh, right. If we're gonna use a power tool, we need to be nice and safe. And remember, only use a power stapler if you are with a grown-up. Whoa, you're really good at that. <laughs> Think you can do that? Yeah! All right. So I'm gonna follow the black lines. That's my guide. All right, good teamwork. You are a pro. Oh, you did good. thank you. <laughs> All right, so oh. now you're gonna flip it over. And there you have it. Look at this perfect square. What's the next step? So the next step is we're gonna take it to the sanding station where you're gonna make it smooth. Ooh, let's make it smooth, <laughs> come on. So this is the sander. Okay. What you're gonna do is put one hand here, one hand under here. Mm -hmm. There is a power button that you wanna push. Okay. Once it's on, you are gonna run it over the whole thing until it's as smooth as a piece of paper. Oh, all right. Well, why do you want it super smooth? It helps the paint stick to the wood. Oh, okay, so let's make this super smooth. Time to sand. So we 
are going to choose your base color. So we're gonna look at your <gasps> stencil. Yes, I can't wait to see. All right, so this is the stencil we have for you. Wow, look at this. An ice cream cone, one of my favorite sweet treats. And oh, that's my name and my headband. Oh, and this is gonna be my bag. And this other stencil will help make it really look like my bag. Oh, I love it. Okay, so for the base, um, I'm thinking purple. Yes, yeah. that is a good color. Okay, so I can just put it everywhere? Yep, so you're just gonna squeeze that over the top of the wood. Okay. Okay, and I get to use this really fun paint roller to spread it all over the wood. So you're gonna paint the top and then all of the sides. All right, now we just wait for it to dry? Actually, we have a way to dry it quicker. Oh, how? So we are going to use this blow dryer. <laughs> You've probably seen a blow dryer before. It's to dry your hair. So there is that. You are gonna blow dry it on the base setting. Okay. <laughs> cool. Is it ready? Ready to go. Okay, turn it to base and let's dry! Okay, now what? Oh, it is dry. Cool. So now what you wanna do is sand it until it's smooth again so that we can put the stencil on. Okay. This time I'm gonna give you a piece of sandpaper as well so you can sand over the top of it. Nice. Oh, cool. It's purple sandpaper and it's really rough. But this rough piece of paper will make this smooth. Hey, those are opposites, rough and smooth. <laughs> Bobby pin. <laughs> <laughs> All right, like this. So you're gonna go back and forth over the whole thing, just like that. Yes, perfect. Okay. All right, so your board is nice and smooth. We are ready for the stencil. Yes, all, all right. right. So the stencil has a couple of layers. We are going to peel the white layer off first. Oh, it's like a giant sticker. Yes. All right. So I'm gonna hand you one side. Okay. And we are gonna center it on your board together. I think that looks good. What do you think? I think it's pretty good, yeah. Okay. So we're just gonna stick this on. Okay. I'm gonna give you a squeegee. A squeegee? Yes. I know what that is. This is your squeegee. Yeah. What you want to do is run it over the whole thing. And you see how it turns a little bit darker? Mm-hmm. That's how you know it's really stuck to the wood. Cool. And this is going to push all the bubbles out. Yes. OK. Bye, bubbles. So now that it's all stuck to the wood, what I want you to do is peel this top layer off. Okay. We're actually gonna start from over here. Ah. And pull down towards you, slow and low. Slow and low, my favorite way to go. Oh wait, oh, come on, sticker. When I did it! <laughs> wow. That looks cool already. <laughs> all right, so now we're ready to paint. Yes, all right. So, hmm, I'm gonna start with the ice cream cone and I'm going to use pearl. That way it would look like vanilla, one of my favorite flavors. So what you wanna do is dip the wide end of the sponge, that end of the sponge, into the paint. Okay. Take a look at it. Does it look wet? Yep. That's too much paint. Oh no. So what you wanna do is dab it off and you can use the paper or you can use the plate. Okay, I'll dab on the plate there. All right, look at it now. Does it look wet? Nope. You're good to go. So now you're gonna just dab up and down. Okay. Over the whole thing. Like this. And is it okay if it gets on the blue part? Yes, it is. Okay. It's a stencil, so that part is gonna come off. All right. So let's cover this ice cream cone. Uh 
Okie doke. Perfect. So now you can pour your next color for the cone. Ooh, and the cone, I'm going to make that a latte. You look like a sugar cone. I'm gonna be careful because I don't want it to get on the top of the ice cream cone. But even if it does, we can always fix it. Oh, you know what? I like your attitude, Margie. Okay, that cone's looking pretty tasty. Yes, it is. All right. So what color did you want to paint your name? Oh, my name, I want it to be yellow. Yes, I love it. All right, so let's go ahead and pour the yellow. Okay. Some yellow there. Wide end. Dab, dab, dab. You got it. Oh yeah, now I'm feeling like a pro over here. Let's see, my headband is yellow. So I'll just use the same yellow. <gasps> Margie! What happened? I need two more colors for my bag. You're right. Do you know what colors are on my bag? Yep, blue and orange. All right, so go ahead and pick the blue and orange that you want. Okay. Down there. Oh. This is good, and oh, this. Ooh. Yeah, this will look cool. Okay, do we need the other stencil yet or no? Not yet. So okay. what we're gonna do with this is once we peel this up, we'll put this one on so it really makes it look like your back. Awesome. So I should start with this one, I think. Dab, 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 and get the whole bag. Perfect. All right, so take a look at it. Do you like it like that, or do you want to do another coat? Oh, uh, I think I like it like that. Perfect. So we are going to give this one good blow dry again. Okay. And then we're ready to peel. All right, let's do it. So this time you are going to blow dry on the stencil setting, and just be careful, it is powerful. We don't want everything flying away. Okay, I'll be careful. <laughs> Here we go. Ah, it's powerful. <laughs> it's dry. So now it is reveal time. Oh, okay. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. So we're gonna turn it this way because we wanna peel the stencil against the grain. Oh, okay. Do you know what wood grain is? Uh, you can explain it. Okay. <laughs> so the wood grain are the lines that you see in the Oh, wood. that's right, yeah. So if the, if the lines of the wood are going this way, mm -hmm. we wanna peel this way. Oh, gotcha, against the grain, exactly. okay. Exactly. So you're gonna start with one corner and then peel down towards you. Towards this corner or each? Down towards you. So. Yes. All right, let's see how it looks. Whoa. Uh-oh, there's a little piece That's stuck. That's okay, it can rip, it can tear, That's totally fine. Oop, there we go. <gasps> Whoa! That looks so cool! Look how good you did! Wow! Check it out! So now we are ready to put the other part of your bag on. Oh, that's right! We have another stencil. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna peel the backing off and we will center it together. Okay. You're good? Looks good to me. Okay. All right, ready? Let's commit! Oh, we did it! <laughs> You're ready for your paint. All right, let's get the orange on there. I think that looks pretty good. Okay, do you remember what comes next? We have to dry it. Yes, okay. Okay, now what setting should I put so it on? So you're gonna be on the stencil setting. Makes sense. Here we go. It's powerful. There you go. Woo! Everything's about to fly. I know. <laughs> okay, so do you remember the wood lines? Oh yes, you wanna go against the grain. Yes. So we wanna go this way? Correct. Okay. There's my bag. Oh, it looks so good. 
Oh, this is so, so cool. So now I just need two hooks because I want to be able to hang my headband and my bag. <laughs> All right, so we have the hooks right here. Okay. I'm gonna have you pick two hooks out of there. Yep, two hooks. Oop. Okay, we have one, two. So we are going to be using a power tool again. Okay, so, so we need our safety glasses. You know it, safety first. So I will drill the little holes to get the hook started and then you'll screw the hooks in. Sounds good. Let's put this one right here. Okay. You're ready All for right. the hooks. Two holes, and here we go. So I can just twist them in, right? Correct. Almost there. There we go. <gasps> it's finished. <laughs> wow, look at the sign. I love it so much. Thank you, Margie, for all your help in helping me make this awesome Mika sign. You are so welcome. <laughs> well, I guess I'll see you around. Yeah, sounds good. We'll all see right. you next time. All right, have a good one. Thanks Bye. again. You're Bye. welcome. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wasn't that so fun making this really cool Mika sign? <laughs> Today, I got to build a sign, sand it, and paint it. Art is so much fun. <laughs> Thanks for playing with me. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool, oh, we can spell it right here on the sign. Ready? M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. <laughs> well, we'll see you next time, bye. Hey, it's me, Mika. And today, I'm at the Kennedy Space Center in Merritt Island, Florida. Look, I'm even wearing a space suit because I'm going on a very special space mission. My plan is to experience a spacewalk, experience landing and driving on Mars, and going to Mars space. But it's all simulation style, which means I'm not really going to space, but it's sure gonna feel like it. Will you come with me? Oh, let's go. Hey! Hi! Who are you? I'm Daniel. Oh, hi Daniel, I'm Mika. Hi. <laughs> so what do you do here? I'm an educator here at Kennedy Space Center. So oh. I teach kids all about science, technology, history, a lot of really cool topics. Wow, you must know a lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, what is this? Uh, this is actually a 3D model of the International Space Station, the ISS. ISS, okay, so that stands for International Space mm -hmm. Station. Station. You got ISS. it. ISS, cool. Oh yeah. Now, it's really, really big. It's about as big as a football field. Whoa, that is really, really big. Yeah. And what's this long part in the middle here? So the long part in the middle is called the truss segment. Ah, oh, the truss, okay, yeah. and what does that do? So that holds the things like the solar panels, a lot of cool instruments and experiments. The astronauts usually just live in the middle. Uh -huh. They don't usually go out there all that often. Why would they need to go out there? Well, sometimes you gotta repla uh, repair stuff or replace things. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Now, something we also have really, really cool here is a simulator that'll kind of show you how astronauts actually train to go out there. Really? Yeah. Could I try? Totally. Oh, let's do it. Whoa, Daniel, what's all this? So these are all our tools and equipment and replacement parts that we're gonna use in our simulator. Wow, that's gonna be awesome. Oh yeah. What's all in here? So there's tons of different things. We have different wrenches and different mm -hmm. equipment. One that's very important that you're gonna use today is this one right here. Oh, hey, it looks like the letter T. Yeah, that's actually where it gets its name. It's called the T-handle wrench. Oh, makes sense, T-handle wrench, oh, okay. Yeah. We actually have a bigger version of that. It's this one right here. Whoa, and look at this. It looks like the letter L. And that's what its name is, L-handle wrench. Oh, L-handle wrench. Works out. Easy to remember. Oh yeah. Whoop. This way. There you go. You got it. Okay. 
Now we're just gonna use this little one today, but we have other things that we can use to replace stuff. We have something right here called a dust environment. This Ooh. one is to try to capture micrometeorites and particles in space and dust and debris. Wow. We have this little one right here. It's an electronics module. It's huh. for computers and stuff like that. Looks complicated. Yeah, <laughs> but I'm gonna give you an easy one to deal with. It's called a vibration detection system. Whoa, what does that do? Careful, it's very heavy, okay? okay? So that detects if the station shakes or shimmies or anything kind of crazy like that. And that would be very, bad. Yes, okay. it'd be very bad. Okay, so this okay. is super important. Yes. Okay. So what's gonna happen is that when I put you in the chair, okay, mm -hmm. we're gonna find that on the truss, uh -huh. and then you're gonna replace it. Wow, cool, okay, yeah. I can't wait. And I'm gonna give you this little one uh -huh. to replace it. We can test it right now so you get a little better understanding before we go. Okay, okay? let's test it out. So you're gonna grab onto that. Uh -huh. Okay. Now when you put it inside, it's kind of like a screwdriver. So okay. You put it in and push it straight down. There you go. Okay. And then you're gonna turn it halfway. Halfway, like that? Yep, there you go. Okay. Now when you do that, it's gonna come out and it's gonna fall down. Okay, so good So make to sure know. not to let it fall on you, okay? okay. Then I'm gonna give you the new one. You're gonna give me the old one. Okay. Okay. And then when you put the new one in, you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna push and half turn. The other way? Yep. Ah. And then that new one will be in place and you've replaced something. Oh, awesome. Okay, well, let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, buckling in. Oh, the seatbelt is very much like the one you would use on an airplane. Yeah, exactly. Okay, nice okay. and tight. Now, you're in our microgravity chair. This is what we're gonna use to kind of simulate our spacewalk. Yeah, that's right, okay. microgravity. And for a spacewalk, you use your hands, not your feet. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now, I want you to have your head all the way back against like that little okay. pillow. Okay, I'm gonna rock you back. It's gonna feel like being in a dentist chair. Ooh, okay. okay. So, rocking you back. Okay. All right. Feel okay? Yeah, nice and cozy. You ready? Yeah. Okay, starting in three, two, one. Now it's really loud, Ooh, okay? Yeah, it's a little loud. Yeah. Now I'm gonna push you underneath. Whoa. Okay. Now you can reach your arms up. Okay. Okay. And I want you to catch the truss. There, so got you got it. it. Now you can try moving up and down. Okay. Just use your arms though, remember, no feet. Ooh. Yep, so you're at the bottom. Now try moving all the way up to the top. Notice how easy it is to move? Yeah. Yeah. It's really fun. Yeah. Cool. And it feels like I'm floating. Wow. <laughs> wow. So I want you to come right here to station 108. Okay? 108. Because we got oh. a job to do, not just having fun, okay? Yeah, here it is, 108, ready for my job. Yeah. So we're gonna replace this instrument right here, okay? Okay. So I'm gonna give you some tools, remember? <laughs> this is awesome. I'm working on the truss like a real astronaut. <laughs> so do you see the old vibration unit in front of you? Yep. I'm gonna give you the T-handle wrench. Okay. And you're gonna take it out. Remember, don't let it fall on you. All right. Okay, so push yeah, up. Yeah, this needs to be replaced. Good thing I'm here. I am very good at replacing these old things. Ugh. There you go. Old one's out. Next. I'll take the old one. <laughs> Here's the new one. Okay. okay. Turn it around. You got it. Okay, that goes there. Yep. Okay. Go there, push it in. Push Oops. it straight up. Turn your handle wrench a little tiny bit more to the right. Okay. A little bit more. Okay. There you go. Now And then talking. let go. And you're all good. All right there, buddy. That one's good to go. Perfect. <laughs> I'll take the wrench back. All right. Okay. But hey, we finished our job. Awesome. Good job. I'm going to get you out of the chair, okay? Okay. So. Whoa. Stay right there. You can let go. Okay. okay? You're floating away from the station. Oh, no. Bye. <laughs> wow. I could take a nap in this chair. Well, you, you can now that you've done your job. <laughs> okay. But bringing you back down to earth. Three, okay. two, one. Welcome oh, back. That was a quick ride. Oh, yeah. Hello, Earth. Okay. And there you wow. go. Thank you so much for letting me experience that. Yeah, no problem. That was really cool. So I got to feel what it would be like to do a spacewalk. Now I want to know what it feels like to travel to Mars. To Mars? Do you have that here? We do. Really? Yeah. Oh, can we do it? Totally. Oh, let's go. Yeah. Uh, 
Come on. So come on over this way. Oh, I can't wait to see this. Oh, yeah. Come on. <gasps> Whoa. Whoa, look over there. It says Lander Rover Simulator 1. That's so cool. Yeah. So over here, we have a really amazing simulator. <gasps> Okay. Yeah. This is going to show you how you're going to fly to Mars, how you're going to land on Mars, and then how you're going to drive <laughs> on Mars. That's amazing. Okay. And remember, yeah. it's a simulation, so it's not real. But it's going to make me feel like I'm really traveling to Mars. Yeah. Now, we have two different positions, OK? Because whenever we do anything with NASA, we try to have a buddy system. Always okay. have a backup. So okay. two people. Yes, two people. So we have a commander mm -hmm. who's going to fly the thing. That's uh -huh. you. Yes, OK. okay. And then we have a pilot who's gonna drive it. In this oh. case, it's a robot, so you're okay. Wow, so you yeah. fly there, land, and then you can drive? Yeah. That's so cool! Right? Do you wanna go inside? Yes, I do. Okay, so Bye. head on down the stairs. Okay. okay. And then you're gonna sit in this seat right here. Okay? Oh. There you go. Whoa. This is cool, right? Yeah. Yeah. Now, we're gonna make sure you're as safe as possible. Okay. okay. So if you look up above, you probably notice something very similar. Oh yeah, it looks like a seat that you would sit in on a roller coaster. Yeah, exactly, okay. We wanna make sure you're as safe as possible. Okay, that's okay. good. Okay, so I'm gonna lock you in. Okay. Okay, what I want you to do, put your arms up and you're about to go on a roller coaster. Okay. Okay. And then, the restraints are gonna come down. There we okay. go. Nice and secure. All good? Feel yeah. safe? Okay. Now, what's gonna happen is when I close this door, we're gonna start the simulator and you're gonna fly and do all the cool stuff on Mars. Okay, okay. awesome. You ready? Yes, I'm so ready. Awesome, okay. So I'm gonna close the door now. All Bye. Right. See you soon, I'm going to Mars. <laughs> Whoa. It really feels like I'm getting ready to go to Mars. <laughs> this is amazing. Oh, here I go. Welcome back. That was amazing. <laughs> Whoa, did you see that? You did wow. a great job. Thank you. Now I'm gonna get you out of there, okay? okay? So first things first, the restraints. We're gonna raise those up, okay? There you go. Whoa. Good job. Okay. You can come on out this way. Be very Whoa. careful though. <laughs> you can use the handrail, yeah. That was wild. Did you see me flip upside down? <laughs> Whoa. You okay? Yeah, I'm good, I'm okay. good. <laughs> so is that what it feels like to land on Mars and then drive on Mars? A little bit, Whoa. yeah, yeah. It's a good wow. simulation, right? Yeah, that was really fun. Thanks for letting me experiment oh, with no that. Oh, no problem, yeah. So for that, you got to drive to our Mars Base 1 uh -huh. in the simulation. Yep. Do you want to see our simulated Mars base that we actually have here? Oh yeah, that's last on my list. Awesome. All right. Want to go? Yeah, let's do it. Let's go. <laughs> cool, come on. Come on over this way. Whoa. <gasps> wow. So welcome to our Mars Base 1 Botany Lab. Oh, thank you. I've never been in a space like this before. Yeah, do you like it? Yeah, it's very cool. Lots of plants in here. Yeah, we have tons of different varieties of plants because we want to see what types of things we could grow on Mars. Oh, why would you want to see what can grow on Mars? That's a really good question. So if we're going to go to Mars, like we plan to do, so we can work and do scientific experiments, mm -hmm. we got to test what we could have to eat on Mars. Because we can't oh. bring all the food we're gonna take there. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Now, growing on Mars is really difficult. It's not like Earth. 
Huh. Yeah. Is there not dirt on Mars? Well, there's dirt on Mars, but when it comes to Mars, it doesn't have the right things that plants need to grow. Oh. So, do you happen to know what things plants need to grow? Yeah. They need light and water and dirt or soil packed with nutrients, and you need the right temperature. Yeah, so they need tons and tons of stuff, and it's all very specific yeah. to the type of plant. Mm -hmm. Now, when it comes to Mars, it has dirt, but there's no nutrients in it. Oh. So if I just went outside and grabbed any old dirt, it's not really gonna simulate how well it works on Mars. Oh, well what does it feel like? What's the dirt feel like on Mars? Well, I have a really good example. So this is oh. some of the stuff that we use. Oh, cool. It's a simulation of what Martian dirt or soil is like. So this isn't really from Mars? No, it's not really from Mars. Huh. Look at this. Whoa. Kind of feels like a bunch of little rocks or little pebbles. Yeah. Hmm. Huh. So it's like a lot of clay and iron. It's not good for plants, sadly. So we have to add in nutrients, plant food, so that way they can grow a lot easier. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah. Now, like I was saying, we've grown tons of stuff in here. Yeah, I can uh, tell. We've grown things like lettuces and even tomatoes. <gasps> I love tomatoes! Wow, can you imagine eating a tomato that grew on Mars? <laughs> it's wow. super cool, right? Yeah. Now, other things that we've grown I wanna show you are some of our peas. So come on over this way. So these are some of the peas that we've actually grown. We've tested different types of plants, but we also want to test how those plants grow in different conditions. Okay. So some of the things you mentioned before of growing include water. We have water in the trays. That helps them grow. All right. And then we have some nutrients in some of the arcelite, the dirt in there. Mm -hmm. And then we have different types of light even. Oh, different types of light. Oh, yeah, it does look different. Yes, yeah, so you can put your hand underneath. So down here we have like this weird purple magenta. Ooh, I love purple. Yeah. <laughs> it's got red and blue little lights. And then up here on top, we have oh. some white light with it. It's a little bit different. Yeah, it looks very different. Yeah. So we want to test how the plants grow in different light conditions. Oh, like these plants up top are growing a lot higher than these plants here on the bottom. Yes. So hey, we know now for the peas to use more of these lights rather than these ones. Oh, just always experimenting. Yeah, and you can even see some of the ones that we've Whoa. kept growing even longer. They're super, super high because they have that nice light. See, they're growing towards the light? Yeah. Wow, they really like this light. Yeah, yeah. Wow, well, thank you so much for teaching me all about space and what it would feel like to land and drive on Mars and spacewalk and now Mars base? Yeah. <laughs> You've been awesome, thank you. Thank you. Well, have a good day. I'll You're see you around. <laughs> Bye. Thanks, Daniel. Let's go. Wow, we did everything on my list. What a great day. We got to experience a spacewalk experience landing and driving on Mars, <laughs> and we got to go to Mars base. Wow, space is so amazing. Thanks for learning with me today. <laughs> well, that's the end of this mission and the end of this video. But if you wanna see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. <gasps> Will you spell my name with me on Mars? <laughs> okay, M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. Oh, I gotta go, that's my ride, bye. Hey, it's me, Mika, and today we're at the Kennedy Space Center in Merritt Island, Florida. We are going to explore space junk, space rockets, and have so much fun. Will you come with me? Well, let's go. Hey. Check it out, a rocket garden. Do you know what a rocket is? It's a vehicle that launches stuff into space so that we can learn about other planets and galaxies and stars. <laughs> hey, will you count the rockets with me? Let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and do you see the big one laying on its side? Nine! There are nine rockets. Hey, let's get a closer look. Come on. Whoa, this is gonna be really cool. This 
rocket right here. Can you see it? It's called the Delta II. Isn't that a cool color blue? Whoa, this rocket has gone to space over 150 times. That's a lot of times. And if you look at the top, you can see the American flag. And if you look even higher, it has a shark face. <laughs> Isn't that so funny? It's a shark rocket. Wow, gone to space a lot. That's a hard working shark rocket. <laughs> Let's keep exploring, come on. Wow, the Space Shuttle Atlantis. Let's go inside and get a closer look, come on. get a little more information. Here, let me move it so you can see it a little better. Is that good? All right, hmm, what should we learn about? Ooh, the mid-deck. What happens in there, I wonder? Oh, this is where the astronauts do their cooking and eating and sleeping. They actually make food and sleep and live on the shuttle just like you do at home. That's so cool. And, oh, the flight deck. Ha, there's some astronauts right there. View features, yes please. Whoa, see, that's inside. You can see the seats where the astronauts sit and there's controllers and buttons and switches so that the commander and the pilot can control and steer the space shuttle. Whoa, I cannot imagine sitting in a space shuttle and not pressing all of those buttons. <laughs> that would be really hard to do. Wow, hey, do you wanna get a closer look of a flight deck? Well, let's blast off and go, ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> Welcome to the flight deck. Oh. There's a lot to look at, isn't there? Well, the front part is called the forward station. And the back part is called the aft station. And aft means rear, so the back. Whoa. I think I'm gonna sit down. Oh. Whoa. Okay, look at me. I'm Pilot Mika. Pilot Mika, getting ready to go on a mission. Let's go on this flight together. <laughs> Ooh, I can press all of these buttons because it's just pretend, it's not real. So let me just get that uh, ADI landing gear, get the nose in place, check the cabin, enable, fit, so one, two, three, power on, power on, power on, power on, power on. Here we go! Oh, I can see so many stars. 
Whoa! Being a pilot of a space shuttle is really fun! <laughs> Whoa! There's more buttons back here! Oh! a long time to learn what all of these buttons and controls and knobs mean. I wonder how long it takes an astronaut to learn what every little button is for. Whoa! Huh, kinda looks like something you would use on a video game. And there's a whole other side? Look at these screens! There's lots of numbers on these screens. Look, oil, fuel? What happens if the space shuttle runs out of gas? Are there space gas stations? <laughs> Whoa! There's more stars over there! Wow! Oh, I think we're coming in for a landing! Everyone hold on tight! Whoa. We're here. We landed nice and safe. Thank you, Pilot Mika. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> Up here! <laughs> Ready? Three, two, one, blast off! Woo! <laughs> that was really fast and really fun! Whoa! Hey! Now we're at the bottom of the space shuttle Atlantis! This is really neat! We were able to see the top, and now we're at the bottom. Whoa, look at the wing. It's really, really big. Have you ever made a paper airplane? You know how when you make a paper airplane, you can make it to go really fast or really slow or really high or really low, depending on how you fold the paper and make the wings? Well, engineers had to work really hard to figure out how to make wings that would soar into space. This is a delta wing. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> oh, come down here. That says United States. And the United States flag is right there. See? Red, white, and blue. <laughs> Whoa, come look at this. Whoa, do you know what this is? This is a smaller version of the Space Shuttle Atlantis. See, it's right there. It even says Atlantis under that American flag. So see the orange part in the middle right there? That is the external tank. And that's what holds all of the fuel to help the Space Shuttle go into space. And there's two rockets on the side. Will you count them with me? One. Two, two rockets. And these rockets are rocket boosters to help the space shuttle boost into space like this. Three, two, one. <laughs> Let's look over here. Whoa. I bet you've seen these before, but way smaller. Yeah, and they're really big tires. And these tires right here actually went to space. <laughs> See? The picture right here? There's three sets of landing gear on a space shuttle, each with two tires. Learning about space is so fun. Come on. Whoa, look how big this telescope is. Have you ever seen a telescope this big before? <laughs> this is the Hubble Space Telescope. Do you know what a telescope is? It's a device that allows you to see things really far away. So, oh, like I can see the Space Shuttle Atlantis way over there. <laughs> but this one is massive and it's orbited over 300 miles from Earth, allowing us to the images of space. <laughs> In fact, this telescope has sent hundreds of thousands of images of space back to Earth. That way we can see what space looks like. And see these things on the side? They kind of look like wings, but they're solar panels. 
They attract the sunlight and then turns it into usable energy. This is the coolest telescope I have ever seen. <laughs> I love space. Hello, I'm a space shuttle. <laughs> I was so much fun today learning about space shuttles and space rockets, especially the space shuttle Atlantis. We got to go really close to a real space shuttle that went to space. What an amazing day. Thanks for learning with me. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Great. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. Well, I'll see you next time. I'm blasting off. Three, two, one. And today we are at O2B Kids in Orlando, Florida. I'm so excited to be here because I love science and I get to do a science experiment right here. What are you doing with me? Awesome. Let's see how we can get started. <gasps> Hi, I'm Mika. Hi, Mika. I'm Trudy and welcome to O2B Kids New Learning Playground. Hi, Trudy. Nice to meet you. Well, nice to meet you. So I heard that I could do a science experiment here and make elephant toothpaste. We love elephant toothpaste and we've actually put together a scavenger hunt for you. What? That sounds so fun. Will you go on a scavenger hunt with me? <laughs> cool. <laughs> so how do I start? You're all checked in and ready to go. Oh, okay. Let's go. <laughs> Check it out! We're at the science lab! For this science experiment, we need to find six items in our scavenger hunt. We need to find hydrogen peroxide, safety goggles, dish soap, food coloring, measuring cups, and yeast. <laughs> okay, can you help me look for these items? Great, let's go! Whoa! Mind gym! Whoa, this must be a room for your mind. <laughs> wow, this is so cool. I recognize some numbers here. Will you count with me? <laughs> okay, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow, that's so fun. Oh, okay, I don't see any items yet for our science experiment. Hmm. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's kind of like a musical instrument. <laughs> see all these different colors? Oh, look, there's little items in here that you can find. Looks like a balloon and a little fuzzy ball. Ooh, this is fun. Cool. <gasps> Hydrogen peroxide. We found our first item for our science experiment. Hydrogen peroxide can help heal a cut, but you do not want to get this in your eyes. So we need to find safety goggles. Okay. Good job, we have our first item. Check it out, a word find. So this big puzzle has a bunch of words in it, but they throw other letters in it to mix it all up, so it's kind of hard to see the words. See if you can find any words in here. You have to look really close. Oh, I found one, <laughs> look, P-E-A-R. Pear. Ooh, that's a really yummy fruit. Any other words that can maybe give us a clue to the things that we're looking for? Oh, what about this word? Safety. Safety. Like safety goggles? Maybe there are safety goggles around here. Oh, look, there's some letters down here. <gasps> Do you know what letter this is? <laughs> it's the letter M for Mika. 
and it's one of my favorite colors. The color yellow. <laughs> <gasps> we did it! We found safety goggles. Safety goggles are really important when you do experiments because they protect your eyeballs. <laughs> All right, two items down, four to go. Safety goggles and hydrogen peroxide. All right, let's keep looking. Oh, whoa, it's like a grocery store or a market in here. Look at all of this play food. Oh, cool. It looks like it's organized by color. I see green and orange and yellow. Ooh, what is in here? A cucumber slice. I love cucumbers. Oh, and a green apple. That's a nice healthy fruit. And one of my favorite vegetables, broccoli. <laughs> Ooh, and a tomato slice. These are all really healthy foods. Yeah, fruit and vegetables, they have nutrients and vitamins in there. So they're what I like to call an all the time food. They help you grow. Ooh, what's this? Some pizza. Mmm. <laughs> hey, let's see if we can find anything that we need for our science experiment. Whoa! This is like a little restaurant or a diner. Oh, don't mind if I do. Put a little ketchup on here. Mmm. <laughs> Pretty tasty. See if there's anything in here. <gasps> I found yeast! We need yeast in our science experiment. If you add warm water to yeast, it helps things rise. In fact, you need yeast to make bread. That's right! Hey, we are doing a great job on the scavenger hunt. Let's put this with our other things and then we can keep looking for more items for our experiment. <laughs> Good job. Let's keep looking. Okay, let's keep looking for more items for our science experiment. Whoa, there's a lot of fun things in here. Come over here. Whoa, look at these big blocks. Huh, let's see. What can I make here? Okay. Hmm. Feels pretty sturdy. It could be a new chair. <laughs> put this on it and this. Or it could be a throne. Queen Hamika. <laughs> oh, I still don't see anything for our science experiment. Hmm. Maybe there's something over here. Hey, a hula hoop. Check it out. Do you know what shape this is? <laughs> That's right, it's a circle. And it's the color green. Let's see if I can hula hoop. <laughs> Let me try again. Ready, set, hula hoop, hula hoop. Oh, that was a little better. Look, you can also put it on your arm like a giant bracelet. And swing, 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 swing. But you know what? This is not something that we need for our science experiment. Fun though. Hmm. Oh, this is a really cool game. Look, you have a spinner. And it tells you where to put your body on the dots. Left, foot, yellow, see? Left foot, yellow. Hmm. Left foot, yellow. Let's see if I can do one more turn on here. Whoop. This is left hand green. <laughs> Whoa, you have to try not to fall down. <gasps> I might fall down soon. <laughs> That's okay. All right. Hmm. 
Come over here. <gasps> Whoa, do you know what this is? It's a bottom of a slide. Should I go down the slide? Okay. Oh, wow, it looks like it's really high up. I wonder if there's anything at the top that we can use for our science experiment. I can't wait to make elephant toothpaste. <laughs> it says socks only. That means I need to take my shoes off. All right, let's, oh, they go in these cubbies over here. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go to the top and see if I can find something for our experiment. See you at the bottom. Oh, <laughs> hi! <gasps> I think I see something for our experiment. I'll see you soon. Woo! <laughs> Look what I found! Dish soap. We definitely need this for our experiment. <laughs> I'm so excited. Thanks for your help. All right. I'm gonna grab my shoes and our other items for our experiment and we can keep looking. We have two more to find. Come on. Hello. <laughs> Let's keep looking. <gasps> cool clock. <laughs> Whoa, look over here. It says A-R-T, art. <laughs> This is an art space. <gasps> cool, look at this big piece of paper. Oh, I could color something on here. Ooh, look at all of these markers. I'm gonna choose purple because it's one of my favorite colors. <laughs> all right, let's, what should I draw? Ooh, I know, see if you can guess. It's a science flask. You can use this in a science experiment, <laughs> but it kind of looks like something else. What do you think? Okay, I'll give you a hint. Do you know now? <laughs> it's two eyes and a nose. <laughs> what else does it need? Oh, right, a mouth. Give it a big mouth, a big smile. Hello. <laughs> oh, there's crayons too. Maybe I could put something else on here and choose a different color. Let's see. Um, oh, I found the food coloring. Look. <laughs> oh, and it's my two favorite colors, purple and yellow. We're getting closer and closer to finding everything we need for our science experiment. One more item to find. Come on. Whoa. <laughs> hey, look at this. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> cool bee. Wow, it looks like this bee's measuring something. <laughs> hey, Mr. Bee, I like your style, purple and yellow. Two of my favorite colors. <laughs> hey, it looks like we even have the same kind of shoes. <laughs> <gasps> Measuring cups. That's the last thing we need for our science experiment. We found everything. Let's head into the science lab. Come on. Hey, Trudy. Hi, Mika, welcome back. Thank you. I think that I found all of the items I need for the science experiment. Yay, may I see them? Oh, yeah. I have safety goggles, hydrogen peroxide, dish soap, food coloring, <laughs> yeast, and measuring cups. Congratulations, Mika, you are ready for the experiment. <gasps> wow, really? There you go. Oh, thank you so much. An official lab coat, awesome. Enjoy. Thank you. I'm so excited to do this experiment. Okay, everyone, safety first. <laughs> if you're doing this experiment at home, please make sure to do it with a grown-up. We are going to make elephant toothpaste. 
But remember, it's not really toothpaste. So please don't use it on your elephants. <laughs> <laughs> the first step is we need to pour half a cup of hydrogen peroxide into this glass. Okay, and be nice and careful and pour it to the top. Okay. Step one, complete. Second, we need our dish soap. Okay, a squirt of dish soap in there. And you swirl it around, make sure it mixes a little bit together. Okay, that looks pretty good. And now, I'm going to add two of my favorite colors, purple and yellow. Okay. Get a little goop there. It looks black, but once it all mixes together, it's going to look purple. And yellow. And look, the yellow looks orange. But once it comes out of the cup, it's gonna look yellow. Okay. All right, next we are going to add our yeast to some warm water. And I already have some warm water right here. And you only need one teaspoon. So let me open this up and get one teaspoon of yeast. Okay. There we go, one teaspoon, add it to the water, and stir it around. See, it's all mixing together, okay? And then we're gonna add it to the glass, and hopefully we will see our toothpaste in action. It's going to the top. Did you see some of the colors? Wow, it really looks like toothpaste. <laughs> oh, science is so much fun. Isn't that cool? Whoa, it's still going. Whoa, <laughs> there are the colors right there. Oh, that was so fun. Hey. Thanks for helping me find all of those items for our science experiment. You were very helpful. <laughs> science is so fun. And we had a lot of fun today, right? We went on a scavenger hunt. We did a word puzzle. Oh, I went down a really cool green slide. And there was a pretend grocery store and art. <laughs> we did a lot today. All for the love of science. <laughs> well. That's the end of this video. If you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, will you spell my name with me? Cool. <gasps> Should we spell it on the planet? Science style. <laughs> Let's do it. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. <laughs> Thanks for learning with me. See you soon. <laughs> It's me, Mika, and today I'm at the Paint Place in New York City. Here at the Paint Place, they have a ton of different art supplies. You can make a sculpture or a painting, but I really want to make a mixed media piece. That's where you use a lot of different materials to make one art piece. Let's go. Oh, Paint Place. <laughs> Come on. Wow. There are so many cool paintings in here. I see an artist, come on. Hey, I'm Mika, what's your name? I'm Mika, I'm Deirdre. Oh, hi Deirdre, nice to meet you. What do you do here? I'm an instructor at the paint place, I'm an artist. Oh, oh, you're a very good artist. What is this? This is the New York City skyline. <gasps> New York City, that's where we are right now. I think I wanna make a skyline too, but I wanna do a mixed media piece. Oh, absolutely. You're going to need more supplies, though. So okay. why don't you grab it from the table? Oh, all right. Thanks. See you soon. Whoa. Look at all of these materials that I get to use for my mixed media piece. Oh, oh, here's an apron. That's super important because that way I can protect my clothes from paint or glue. Let me just tie this on. <laughs> Look at all the paint that's already on the apron. <laughs> Okay, let's see, what do I want to use? 
Ah, oh, check this out. Do you know what shape this is? It's a circle, and there's a lot of little circles around it. You wanna count the circles with me? Let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten little circles. This is a paint palette. You can put different colors of paint in the little circles. Oh, I definitely need that. Hmm, what else? Oh, some paint brushes for sure. I like these little ones for detailing. Throw those in there. Oh, there's different kinds of ways to apply paint to a canvas. You could use a paintbrush or a sponge. That can make a really fun texture. I'm gonna throw that in there. Hmm. Oh, glue. I might need some glue. Let's see. Look at all of these colors. I see some of my favorite colors in here. I'm gonna use, ooh. Purple, oh yeah. Purple in there and hmm. Yellow. <laughs> wow, it would be so cool to have purple and yellow buildings. And this blue is pretty cool too. So purple, yellow, blue. Hmm. Looks like some of these papers are already cut out. Might need some of these. I'll get red and blue and yellow. I'm throwing some extra. Okay. Whoa, there's felt pieces cut out. Oh, what do we have here? <laughs> Look, there's a person. Hey, do you want to be in my skyline painting? Yes, I do. Oh, great. You can go in there and what kind of shapes are over here? <gasps> a sunshine. My skyline could be during a sunny day. Oh, you're definitely going in there. And some squiggles, those are fun. Throw those in there. I'll just throw them all. Wow, look at all these different colored puffy balls. Whew, they're called pom-poms. Hmm, I think I'm gonna throw some in there. And, oh, I'll definitely need scissors. If you're gonna use scissors, make sure you're with a grown-up. And, ooh, a sponge roller, that can be fun. Another way to apply paint and Whoa, look at all of these different colors. I'm gonna throw that in there. And whoa, look at this cool paintbrush. <laughs> the big paintbrush. This one is kind of like a triangle. Ooh, that'll be fun. And some colored pencils. Oh, this is gonna be so colorful. What a great way to remember my day in New York City. Missing anything? I need a canvas. This will do it. All right, let's get started. I'm so excited to make this art piece. Oh, here's an easel. Put my canvas right there. And I'll put my materials over here. Hey, there's other paint here. Look at this bright pink. Ooh, kind of matches my nails. This is acrylic paint which is different than the watercolor paint that I put in my basket over there. Acrylic paint is thicker than watercolor paint. Watercolor is thinner and transparent, which means you can see through it. Hmm, I think I'm actually gonna use the acrylic paint today. All right, uh, oh, I'll use my paint palette. So I'm gonna make a sky and water. So I'll need blue. Here's some blue paint right here. Okay. Whoop, see? Nice blue paint. And, oh, look at this blue. I love this color. It's kind of like a turquoise or a teal. Put that on there. <gasps> so pretty. And I'll add some black. Ooh. <laughs> and white. Go. Check it out. And I'll need a paintbrush. 
Oh, this looks like a perfect paintbrush for my sky and my water. All right, let's get started. <laughs> okay, starting with a blank canvas. I can go anywhere. I'm feeling inspired. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna start with the sky. So I think I'm gonna use this blue and a little bit of white. Some water on there. And I have to be careful because acrylic paint could stain my clothes. Good thing I'm wearing an apron. <laughs> So, get this beautiful blue sky. Okay, I think the sky's looking pretty good. And now I'm gonna do the water, the river. Hmm. Maybe make the water a little darker than the sky. Some more blue. And if I add black to it, I can make it a little darker than the sky. Okay, now I see a hair dryer. That's such a smart way to make the paint dry faster. Hey, see? Whoop. I'm gonna dry my paint so then I can add the next material. Oh yeah. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Hmm, my water looks really dark. Oh, I bet if I added some blue to it, it would make it look a little more like water. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, whoops. Okay, I'm gonna add more blue. Let's see. This will brighten it up. Because it's so dark, it looks like a street almost, but I really want it to be water. And I'm gonna add a little white. It's always important to clean your brush in between colors. Get some white on there. Wow, so I have sky and water, and I want some clouds up here. <gasps> I could use my fingers to make clouds. Okay. It's so cool how you can use different things to apply paint. <laughs> and the good thing about a paint apron is you can just ride off. Three puffy clouds. Whoop. All right, let me get. Now let's dry the clouds. Okay, check it out. It's the Empire State Building. I'm gonna have that building in my New York City skyline. <laughs> okay, let's put some buildings on my canvas. Get a lot of glue on here so my buildings stick. Here. Look, a yellow rectangle. Rectangles make really good buildings. All right, I finished gluing on my buildings. Now I'm gonna move on to my felt pieces. <gasps> Remember this, friend? Put some glue. All right. What should I name this person? Hmm. I think I'm gonna name him George. <gasps> George, where do you wanna go? Oh, okay. All right, you're a little close to the water, George, but I get it. It's the summer, you wanna cool off. And, oh, my sunshine. To find my felt. <gasps> sunshine, there it is. 
Okay, put the sun up here. Oh, I love it. I think it would be really cool to add some cotton balls to my clouds. There's some over here. Oh, don't these look like clouds? Soft and fluffy and white. All right, let's see what it will look like. Add some here. Yeah, cool, I like it. What do you think? I think the clouds look really cool. And now, I think I'll add some details to the buildings. I'll need a small paintbrush, like this one. Isn't this so fun? It's what's cool about mixed media. You can use all different kinds of materials to make an art piece. Oh, I still have some white paint here. Water in there, and then let's see, maybe this building can have some windows. Might be an apartment building. Oh, George lives here. George, you have a great building. Nice tenants. Okay, and then maybe some lines here, lines there. This building can have lines like that. And I'm gonna do three lines on this one. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. What's so cool about art is you can do whatever you want. All right. Some details, I think that's pretty good. And I forgot, I have something in my jam pack. Glitter! <laughs> I'm gonna put some glitter on my painting, what do you think? Yeah. All right, I need some glue so the glitter sticks. I think it would look good in the water. Sparkly water. Now my mixed media art piece is all complete. Oh, hey Deidre. Hi, this looks amazing. Thank you, I had so much fun making it. I know the perfect spot where we can hang it up. Really? Yes, yeah, someone's coming to pick up their painting, so why don't we hang up yours? <gasps> I get to be on the wall with the other artists? That's so cool. I hope you enjoy the paint place. I did, it was so fun, thanks for having me. Bye. All right, see you later. Well, I feel like a real artist now. <laughs> <laughs> that was so fun! Oh, guess I don't need my apron anymore because I'm all finished with my art piece. <laughs> what a great day at the paint place! I got to make a mixed media art piece using construction paper and felt pieces and paint and <gasps> glitter! Oh, that was so cool! And I even got to hang it up on the wall <laughs> like an official artist. Well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool! M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye! Come hey, it's me, Mika. And today, I'm at the Intrepid Museum in New York City. Check it out. The Intrepid is so big. It's an aircraft carrier that can have airplanes land on it. That's how big it is. <laughs> Let's go inside and explore. Come on. Check it out. We're at the Concorde. This is one of the very first supersonic airplanes. Do you know what that means? That means that this plane goes faster than the speed of sound. We get to go inside and check it out. Come on. I got you. There you go. You can get it after. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> Oh, you wanna, oh yeah, oh, <laughs> yes, oh. oh, can you just, mm -hmm. thank you. Oh, hi, <laughs> I'm Mika, your flight attendant on Supersonic Airlines. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm just Mika, I'm just playing. <laughs> this plane is so cool. Check out the seats, Ooh. you can rest your arm and just relax on your flight. <laughs> 
Did you know that this plane holds the world record for fastest flight from New York to London? <laughs> it got to London in under three hours. That's really, 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 really fast. <laughs> hey, wanna go check out the cockpit? Let's go. Hi, I'm First Officer Mika. <laughs> A first officer assists the pilot. But there's no pilot. Hmm, let's see. I'm gonna skip a little call here. Hello? Hi, yes, it's First Officer Mika, and we don't have a pilot. Mm-hmm. No, I'm looking right now, there's no pilot. Okay, thank you so much. <laughs> oh, this is so cool to be in the cockpit. There's so many different buttons and controls, and this is the steering wheel. It controls the wings of the airplane. <sighs> Whoa, look at all of these circles. See? There's a lot. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, this, it says visor nose. This controls the nose of the airplane. It can either go down or it can go up. You have to know a lot to fly a plane. What else? <gasps> See the wheel button? The wheels. Make sure you go in for a nice, smooth landing. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Whoa, what else is in here? Whoa, all these little numbers look like something you'd see on a telephone. Ooh, and this is the throttle. This is how you can go fast or slow. So you wanna go so fast, you wanna go so slow. <laughs> mm. Wow. I wonder how long it takes to learn what all of these buttons and controls do. Ooh, ooh. Can we just get ready here? Are you ready to fly with me? Awesome, let's count down together. Three, two, one, fly! Woo, let's go even faster. Woo-hoo! Here we are on the flight deck. This place is amazing. We're up high, we can see a lot of the New York City skyline. And look at these amazing planes. This is where planes would take off and where they would land. But it's actually not long enough, so they would use a device to catapult planes into the sky. Isn't that so cool? <laughs> Whoa, look at that plane. Oh, I see a helicopter. Oh, they're just hanging out on the flight deck. It's where the planes hang. And they have these beautiful views. <laughs> what? There's someone on one of the planes? <gasps> You're right. Hi. Hi. Let's go get a closer look. Hey. Hi, come on up. Thank you. Whoa. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mika. Hi, Mika, I'm Jen. Hi, Jen, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So what do you do here? So I am a museum educator, which means that I teach all kinds of people, students, children, adults coming into the museum. Awesome, so you must know a lot about planes. I do. Well, if I'm in the front here, does that mean that I'm the pilot? You are a pilot, but you are still learning how to be a pilot. So you're technically a student driver. Oh, okay. So then would you be the pilot or the instructor? I would be the instructor. So I would be back here and I could take control of the plane if I needed to. Oh. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. I really like the look of this plane. I love the colors. I can see red and white and blue. Absolutely, the red, white, and blue let other planes know that this is an American airplane. And also the red and white, they're high visibility. So it lets people know that you're still learning how to be a pilot. Oh, that's a great idea. Mm -hmm. Well, it's so cool that I get to be inside of this airplane. Yeah. <laughs> would you like to go inside of a helicopter? Yes, I would. All right, uh, let's go. Okay, let's go. Wow. This is amazing. Yeah. So this is our Sea Guardian helicopter. It was used by the Coast Guard to help rescue people out in the ocean. Wow, that's super important. Absolutely. And you'll notice here we have pontoons, one pontoons. here and one on the other side. And then the shape of the front of the helicopter matches that of a boat so yeah. that it can land directly on the water. 
Whoa, this helicopter can land on water? Absolutely, That's it can. really cool. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. You're also gonna notice that we've got colors. We've got red and white, similar to the Mentor that we were just in. Yeah, I was just gonna say, we were just in a red and white plane. Yeah, so same colors, both so that they can be high visibility so people notice them, but a bit different reasons. The mentor over there is high visibility, so people stay away from you because you're right. learning, new, new learning flyer. to drive. Uh -huh. And this one is high visibility, so that people know to flag you down so that you can help them. Oh, that makes Absolutely. sense. Absolutely. Wow, what a helpful and useful helicopter. Yeah. In fact, the way it helps people, you'll notice the hook right up here. There's a basket inside. We could connect to that hook to lower down into the water. Wow, yeah, let's go see what the basket looks Absolutely. like. Absolutely, come on in. Okay. Wow, look, it looks like a giant basket you would use to get groceries. Yeah, you need it to fit people in there, so it needs to be a big basket. Yeah, it is mm -hmm. really big. Mm -hmm. Wow, this is so cool, thanks for showing me. Yeah, you can see the hole right here that would connect to the hook. Oh yeah. And we even have some floats on either side of the basket to help it float when it drops down into the water. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Well, before you let me pretend to fly the airplane, did I pretend to fly this helicopter? Absolutely, let's go. <gasps> yes, let's do it! Check out the cockpit in this helicopter! Yeah, all kinds of different controls in here. Yeah, there's a lot going on. I see a lot of circles and buttons and knobs. Absolutely. But the three things that you're going to use to really steer this, mm -hmm. you have your pedals yeah. down on the floor, okay. just like you would in a car. You have your joystick right here oh, that's going to... You have one too. I have one too. All right. And then you have this control right here, which lifts up and down to help lift the helicopter up and down. Whoa, so you use your feet on the pedals. Mm -hmm. You hold on to this. What did you call it? Joystick. Joystick. And you have this controller too? Absolutely. You're that's doing a lot. lot. <laughs> that seems like a really hard job. It is. It's really complicated. Wow. <laughs> Yep. And then when you want to land, we have landing gear, just like we would on a plane. So that control is oh. right here. Yeah. You see flip it. it up. Now, you're not always going to have the landing gear down for this one because remember, it lands on the water. So oh, we're not right. going to use our wheels when we're landing on the water. Oh, so we don't even need that? Not all not the time. Not if we're landing not on water. Not if we're landing on water. Absolutely. Oh, cool. And then yeah. I've seen this before in a car a parking brake. Yep, so that does help when you're on land to just make sure it doesn't go rolling away anywhere. Oh, very smart. Absolutely. Oh, I feel like an official helicopter flyer. <laughs> you're doing great. <laughs> hey, well, we'll see you soon. Jen and I have a big landing coming up. Are you ready? Yeah, let's, let's land do this. this yes. Woo! Oh, cool. This looks like a map of the Intrepid. Yeah, you can see the entire length of the ship. It is as long as three football fields lined up end to end. Whoa, that is really, really long. We did some serious walking today. Definitely, a lot of exercise, a lot of steps. Wow, well, I'm gonna keep exploring, but it was so nice meeting you, Jen, and thank you for showing me all of this. Absolutely, it was nice showing you around, and have fun. Oh, thanks. See ya. Bye. Let's go. Hey, look behind me. It's the Intrepid! <laughs> well, it's a model of the Intrepid made out of Legos. Isn't that cool? Let's get a closer look. Whoa, this is amazing. There's so much to look at. Oh, I see people. Workers and helpers. You know, you can know what kind of job someone has based off of the color of their uniform. So, oh. Like right here, brown. And see, this person's wearing brown too. They are pilots. And oh, this friend right here in green. <laughs> and there's another one. If you're wearing green, you help direct the planes. You help with takeoff and landing. Whoa. Oh, look at these two. These are two officers. Hello, officer. Hello, officer. Good to see you. <laughs> Old friends. <laughs> Let's keep looking. Oh, hello. <laughs> <gasps> These two people are wearing purple. One of my favorite colors. They have really cool jobs. They refuel the planes or they juice up the planes. And because they wear purple and they juice up the planes, they have really cool nicknames. They call them the grapes. <laughs> this is amazing. I wonder what else is here. Let's go find out. Oh, this looks like a comfy, cozy spot. There's three bunks. 
Do you know who would sleep here? The sailors! Oh, let's try it out. Ah. Whoa. Can you imagine if you're on a bunk bed for three people? You have a friend here, you have a friend down there. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> That'd be such a fun sleepover. Ah. Oh, I bet there's more to go see. Come on. Let's go that way. <laughs> oh, this is the part of the ship for different ways to communicate to other people in ships. Like, here's the other end of the voice tube. Hello! <laughs> oh, and over here, it says Morse code. Let's see. Type your name in Morse code. Yeah, did you hear that? It's a way to communicate with other people that are super far away. So, hmm, I'll spell my name. If it's a long line like that, you hold it down. And if it's a dot like that, it's... Okay, so Mika. M E E K A H Nika! If anyone is wondering. <laughs> oh, and this big light is another way to communicate with people on ships super far away. Let's see. Whoa, that's a really bright light. You could probably even see it through a really foggy night. Hello! Check out these red paddles. One, two. They're kind of like ping pong paddles. Well, they're super cool and helpful because it's another way to communicate. Pilots needed to be able to land safely, so they relied on signal landing officers like me. Let's see. Uh, let's try this one. It says, Wave off, do not land, do not land. <laughs> Or this one that means, too high, you're too high. Or too low, you're too low, buddy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's so cool. Oh, here's another way to communicate with signal flags. Let's see, uh, I want to tell that ship over there, the pizza has been delivered. My work here is done. Huh, something cool over here. Looks like a person wearing a green shirt. Hey, we saw something like this on the model of the Intrepid, do you remember? If someone's wearing a green shirt, they help the planes take off and land. You're doing a great job, smooth landing. <laughs> cool. Oh, there's another one over here. Do you know what color shirt this is? It's white. Yep, this is a landing signal officer. Hey, that's like the one I just did with the red paddles. That was a landing signal officer. Hello, I'm a landing signal officer. I, I don't think they sang, but. Oh, this one's wearing a blue shirt. If you're wearing a blue shirt, you're a plane handler and you move the aircraft around the flight deck. Hi! What kind of job would you want to have? They had so many different jobs on the Intrepid. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> What a fun day at the museum! I can't believe that we got to go inside of the Concorde and an airplane and a helicopter. Oh, and do you know what this is? This is the Lockheed A-12. It goes super fast, three times the speed of sound. <laughs> well, I hope you had fun learning with me today. This is the end of this video, but if you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. All right, see you soon. It's me, Mika, and today I'm at the Columbia Memorial Space Center in Downey, California. Can you guess what this is? It's a real capsule. Mm-hmm, and today we're going to be astronauts and create a capsule of our own. Are you ready? Okay, blast off! Wow. <laughs> 
I'm so excited to be in a shuttle today and be an astronaut. Do you know what an astronaut is? An astronaut is a person that goes up into outer space to study the moon and stars and planets too. I got it. Would you like to be an astronaut with me? <laughs> Great. All right, let me dial Mission Control. Mission Control, it's Commander Meeker here. Mm-hmm, my astronaut buddies and I are ready for takeoff. <gasps> All right, counting down in three, two, one. <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> wow! <laughs> I can see so many stars and planets. I can see Mercury, and Venus, and Earth, and Mars, and Jupiter, Uranus, Saturn, and Neptune. <laughs> wow. <gasps> Did you know the sun is a star? <laughs> I know, so cool. Okay, let's go park and explore. <laughs> wow, check it out. It's a real spacesuit, just like astronauts wear when they go on moonwalks in space. <laughs> it's white with red accents. Oh, and the material is really, really tough to protect astronauts when they're in space. And look at this helmet. This is so astronauts can breathe oxygen out in space. I want to get inside. Come on. Hi, I'm an astronaut. <laughs> wow. Oh, an asteroid. <laughs> I can see so many stars and planets up here. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. I have a flight suit of my own. <laughs> I'm astronaut Mika and I'm ready to explore space. Are you ready? <gasps> vroom, 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 zoom, 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 let's go! <gasps> this is a robotics lab. This is where scientists called engineers code a rover. A rover is a big truck that moves along a planet's surface and takes pictures of rocks and dirt. And the cool thing is it's controlled by a scientist on Earth. That way, they can learn about what a planet is like. Come on, let's go code a rover. Coding the rover means I'm planning out how it'll move on the planet. <laughs> okay, I'm setting up this rover to take lots of pictures of Mars and pick up a rock. Okay, now that it's set, let's place it on the table. <gasps> Whoa, this rover reminds me of an excavator. It picks up rocks instead of dirt, though. Here we go. Okay, let's hope the rover picks up this rock. Here we go. Oh, not quite. Let's try again. Here we go. Ready? Oh. Now, scientists can use these rocks to discover different things about the planet, like how big it is, how old it is, and what can survive there. <laughs> cool, let's go. This is where we can build our own capsule, just like Apollo 11. Let's get our supplies. First, we'll need two pieces of black yarn. One, Two. Next, we need a cardboard capsule. Then we need a sheet of tissue paper. Oh, there are lots of different colors in here, but I'm gonna pick yellow, just like my headband. A capsule is a piece of the rocket that the astronauts use to come back to Earth in. We're punching some holes in there. Awesome! Two holes punched in our capsule. Now we'll punch some holes in our tissue paper. 
One hole. And two. Awesome. Next, we'll take our black yarn and we'll loop it through the holes. Oh, I bet my best friend Blippi and I would have a great time in one of these. <laughs> I love traveling through space with my best friend. Okay. <laughs> okay, one last step. Take our silver handle and put tape it on top. Now I need two pieces of tape. One. Awesome. Two. Now we have our capsule and we're ready to launch. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <gasps> that was awesome. We did it. We did it. We never ever quit it. We did it. Awesome. Safe landing. That was cool. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Mission Control, we did it. We went all the way into outer space and now we're safe back on planet Earth. We were really busy exploring space and when it was time to come back to Earth, we landed safely in our parachutes. I just want to thank all the scientists for their hard work. And I especially want to thank my best friend, Blippi, for always believing in me and my mission. <laughs> now let's go see what other things we can make fly through the air. Come on! <gasps> Check it out, an airplane building station. That's right, airplanes fly through the air too. Okay. I'll start with a sheet of paper, and then I'll fold it in half. Paper airplanes help us understand how real airplanes fly through the sky. Oh, look, I just made a triangle. See? <laughs> Triangles have three sides. All right, fold it one more time, and another time on this side. And look, we have an airplane. Whoa! Let's go! Oh! We made it to the launching pad! The shape of the wings is what makes it possible for an airplane to fly. When the wings are flat and then curved at the end, air pressure can sit on top of the plane, which makes it possible to fly through the air! Okay. Let's make sure our launching pad is lined up just right. There we go. So we'll put the plane here, and we'll push this green button in three, two, one. Wow! Look at that airplane go! <laughs> Check it out. I'm in a science lab. Astronauts are scientists, too. That's because they do experiments when they're exploring on the moon. An experiment is when you try something new to see what will happen. Sometimes you need a parent or an adult to help you. I've got it. Let's do an experiment and learn together. Will you help me with my ooey-gooey experiment? <laughs> Great. Let's start off with a quarter cup of water. Splash! And then we'll add a quarter cup of sticky, ooey gooey glue. <laughs> now we'll have to take our popsicle stick and stir, stir, stir. Stir, 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 stir it up. Stir up that glue. Stir, 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 stir it up. I love to experiment with you. <laughs> Okay, we gotta get our glue and water all mixed in. Wow, this is so cool. Okay, we're ready to add our glitter. And guess what? 
It's my favorite color, purple. Wow, so pretty. Looks very stellar. <laughs> okay, we have our purple glitter, and now we're gonna add a quarter cup of starch. And that'll make it extra, extra sticky. Wow, do you see it? It's forming in one big lump. Wow, oh, okay, I think it's almost ready. I think we're ready to touch it. Ooh, it's so sticky and ooey gooey. <laughs> I've got it. I'll name my slime hmm, Lunar Slime. <laughs> Thank you so much for exploring space with me today. We wore a spacesuit, we coated a rover, and we created our own capsule and watched it float back down to Earth. That was cool. Well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Can you spell my name with me? <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. <laughs> All right. See you later. Bye-bye. Hey, it's me, Mika. And look where I'm at. I'm at Spokane Gymnastics in Spokane Valley, Washington. And this is an amazing place where I can jump and play and move my body and probably do even more cartwheels. Let's learn how to do some gymnastics. Come on. Wow, check it out. We are in a gymnastics gym. This is a place where you can practice your gymnastics moves and climb and stretch and jump. Whoa, look at this. It looks like a giant crayon. Do you know what color this is? The color green. <laughs> Let's see. Woo, these look like some fun shapes. This is a triangle. Ooh, and this is also green. And look at the side here. I see another triangle and it's yellow. Oh, and look, there's some blue. <gasps> Do you know what shape this is? <laughs> yeah, it's a rectangle and it's red. Wow, whoa. This half circle kind of looks like a rainbow. <gasps> and it's yellow on the side. One of my favorite colors. <laughs> oh, look at this little green circle. <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> wow, two more giant crowns. Green and orange. Wow, it's so neat. I wonder what they're for. Oh, look at this big circle. It reminds me of a big donut. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> wow. Wait a second. I get it. It's an obstacle course. But we will need to practice and move our bodies and warm up to do an obstacle course like this. Gymnasts need to warm up and be really flexible so that they can move their bodies easily and not get hurt. <laughs> I see a gymnast over there. Let's go say hi. 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 I'm Coach Kelsey. Hi, I'm Mika. Hi, Mika. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Do you work here? I do. I coach preschool gymnastics here. Whoa, a gymnastics coach? That means she knows a lot about gymnastics. <laughs> Would you like to get a lesson today? Yes, please. All right, let's do it. Awesome. Come on, let's go. Yes, I'm so excited to learn today. I'm excited to teach you. Now we gotta get ready, so we have to make sure that nothing's in the way. Oh. Do you think you can take off your bag? <laughs> yeah, good idea. All right, <laughs> all right. We're gonna warm up our body so we feel good to get ready for gymnastics. Okay, I can't wait. Do you think you can run like a tiger, fast like a tiger? Oh yeah, I know what a tiger is. Can you be fast like a tiger too? Hurrah! Hurrah! Here we go! Whoa! Hurrah! <laughs> <laughs> that 
was awesome. Thank you. All right, we're gonna jump now like a kangaroo. Oh, okay, jump like a kangaroo. Whoa, this is fun. Nice, okay, can you guess what I am? Roar! Whoa, on all fours and growling. Are you a bear? I am a bear. Oh, cool. <laughs> okay, let's see. Roar! Awesome, let's turn around. Whoa. Nice job. <laughs> All right, we're pretty warmed up. Let's get to stretching. Okay. All right, we're gonna be really, really big. Whoa. Big, like a hippopotamus. <laughs> you're more flexible than me because you're a rail gymnast. I've been practicing. <laughs> <laughs> this is our straddle shape. Okay. Can you try to like a trunk? Can you move your hands like this? Oh, like an elephant. All right, we're gonna put our feet together. Get nice and small. This is our squat. All right, we're gonna go one, two, three, and pop down. One, two, three. This is our pike. Raise up high. Okay. And touch your toes. Whoa. Oh, nice. It feels really good to stretch. And you can go a little bit further. Nice shape. All right, we're gonna get into our tuck, okay? All right, hug it like a teddy bear. Get a little rock and roll. When I count to three, we'll do another blast, okay? Ooh, a blast, okay. One, <laughs> two, three, blast. Blast! There's our pie. Nice. All right, let's get our hands behind us. Okay. We're gonna bend our knees, and we're gonna push up our belly. You feeling flexible? Yeah. This is our tabletop. Oh yeah, it's like I'm a little coffee table. Yeah, can you wave? Hello. Hello. <laughs> All right, let's do one more shape. This is our hollow. Hollow? Hollow. <laughs> and you point your gymnastics toes. Boy, it tastes so hard. And then you turn it right into our arch shape, like a seal. Our back is an arch. Oh, that feels good. Ar, ar, ar. All right, we're pretty, we're pretty um, stretched out. Yeah, you ready I for our we're lesson good. now? Yeah. All right, let's have gymnastics hands oh. on. And let's go. Oh, let's go. <laughs> All right, we got our wall here. We're gonna do some handstands. Handstands on a wall? On a wall, so oh. we can be upside down. Whoa, it's really fun to be upside down. <laughs> like a monkey, okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> My little guys, we call these wall walkers. Okay. Did you bring your muscles today? <laughs> oh, I right. did. We gotta push the ground and we gotta stay off our head. Okay. So we're gonna hold ourselves up and we're gonna walk the wall as far as you can. Whoa. Right. <laughs> Let's count to three. Okay. One, two, two three. three. Safely put your feet down. You did Whoa, it! That was fun! All right, let's learn another handstand. Okay. So we're gonna learn our lunge shape, one Good. foot in front a little bit, and we're going to kind of raise our hands, lift our tail, like okay. an animal tail. We reach, 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 and here comes your pop! Whoa, okay. Pop! Oh, there it is! Hello, I did it! <laughs> Good handstand! Thank you! And don't forget to say ta da! Oh, ta da! I love it. Okay, in gymnastics, we use a springboard, so we have to learn how to run fast. A springboard? What's that? It helps you jump. So at the end of this, I'm gonna show you how we just jump really big and reach up high. Okay, yeah, show me. <laughs> All right, here's our tigers. Okay. So we to run fast. We wanna jump and reach up high. Whoa, that looks so fun. Your turn. Okay, ready? <laughs> run on the tiger. Jump. Oh, Ta-da! That was fast. <laughs> Thank you. That was really cool. Do you know what animal this is? Oh yeah, that's an elephant. <laughs> <laughs> so yes. cute. Good job. Okay, elephants like to march. So oh. we're gonna march, march, march. And we're ready to do a cartwheel. Oh, on a block? Yeah, do you see the hands? Yeah, that must be where I would put my hands. Yeah, so what I do is I start that lunge again. Uh -huh. I kind of pat my foot, because that's the one I want to reach for. Okay. And then we're going to be like a big old, big old wings, like, like a bird. Wow. So we're going to fly over. Oh, did you see that? Cartwheels are my favorite. I do them all the time. <laughs> but this is the first time I've done one on a block before. There you go. Here we go. Whoa, that was awesome. Nice cartwheel. Thank you. All right, 
You did some stuff on the floor mm -hmm. in gymnastics. We also do stuff on bars. So let's go check out the bars. Oh, come on. So I'm just gonna climb up here. Wow. I'm gonna get super tall like a giraffe. I'm gonna swing. This is called casting. Casting. And once I'm ready, I'm gonna tuck my chin, turn my hands like a motorcycle, and roll. Just Whoa. like that. Did you see that? She did a flip around the bar. Oh, okay. I wanna try I think now. You're ready. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I climb up on the bars like this, and then I hold myself up and whoo! I'm casting! Whoop. You're doing good! <laughs> okay, now what? You're gonna tuck your chin, you're gonna turn your hands okay. like a motorcycle and okay. roll. Whoa! <laughs> nice! You went upside down! I did. I did the flip around the bar too! <laughs> so we've done bars, we did some gymnastics on the floor. How about jumping on a trampoline? <gasps> yes, I love jumping on a trampoline! All right, let's do it. All right, come on. Whoa. <laughs> wow, this is a really long trampoline. Yeah, we're gonna jump on it. Okay. <laughs> All right, we're gonna jump over something. Ooh, over what? We call them fries. Fries, I love eating fries. <laughs> All right. We got yellow. Oh. Blue. <laughs> And orange! They do look like fries! Look! It's like a giant fry! Ooh. Yum! <laughs> okay! Alright, let's reach up like you're getting the bananas! Okay. And jump over the fries! And I want you to make sure you stop at the end so you can control your body. Okay, ready? Right, go for it! Here we go! One! Two! Three! Good stop! <laughs> Thank you! All right, you'll just come back on the red. Hey. All right, that was a great jump. I'm gonna move these fries out of the way now. All right. Ooh, I wonder what's next. <laughs> All right, we're gonna be like an alligator, a chomping alligator. Oh, an alligator like this. Chomp, chomp, chomp. We gotta go big. Say straddle. Okay, straddle. Ooh. Nice. And the more you practice, you can get bigger and bigger at those straddles. Oh, gotcha. You're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna jump all the way down and make sure you stop Okay. and come back on the red. So my arms will chomp this way for an alligator chomp? Yeah, reach up high and then our legs will be open shut. Whoa. Okay, here I go. Ready? Jump, jump, jump. So we did some cartwheels, some handstands, some jumping. So I think you're ready to do the obstacle course. Really? Yeah, I added a few more things for you to try, but it'll oh, be a lot of fun. Oh, cool. Well, thank you so much for teaching me gymnastics today. Oh, you're welcome. Well, I'll see you nice next time. You. <laughs> Bye. Bye, nice meeting you. Yes, I can't believe she said I'm ready to do the obstacle course all by myself. Ooh, and I wonder what surprises she put in there for me. All right, first things first, balance. Whoa. <gasps> hey, I remember that block. We used that block when we practiced our cartwheels. Okay, ready? <gasps> Whoa. <laughs> Ooh, and I can do a somersault down this triangle. I know how to do those. <laughs> Back at the half circle, climb over. <gasps> And the green circle, I could do a kangaroo hop. <laughs> okay, climb up and <gasps> the bar. Remember how we learned how to go on the bar? Hold ourselves up and casting, casting. <gasps> then I can go under and bear walk. <laughs> okay, and more balancing. I got this. I got this. I got this. Ta-da! <laughs> wow, I did the whole thing all by myself. Ooh, there's the tiger mat. Let's run away. I am ready to go. Wow, I had so much fun learning gymnastics today at Spokane Gymnastics in Spokane Valley, Washington. We learned so many things today, like how to warm up our bodies and get flexible and strong. Ooh, 
It's really important that you have really good balance when you're a gymnast. Wow, we even did the bars. I've never been on bars before. Oh, and the trampoline. And then in the end, I got to do the obstacle course. Oh yeah, and I finished it all by myself. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika, good job. All right, I'll see you next time. Thanks for learning with me. Bye. Whoa. Hey, everyone. It's me, Mika. And today, I'm at Sky Zone Trampoline Park in Anaheim, California. And I'm so excited because guess what's inside? Trampolines! Have you ever been on a trampoline before? They're so fun, you can jump and bounce really, really high. Have you ever wondered what makes something bounce? <laughs> Me too. Let's go inside and find out. Come on. Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm good, I'm Mika. I'm Quincy, it's nice to meet you, Mika. Hey Quincy, nice to meet you too. Ah, so what can I do for you today, Mika? Well, I really want to play on some things that are bouncy and I hear there are a lot of trampolines here. Oh, we have so many trampolines here today. Nice. But first, we have to pick from an assortment of wristbands. Whoa, look at all of these colors. I see orange, green, yellow, red, blue and pink. Hmm, I think I'm gonna choose the yellow one. It's one of my favorite colors. I got you right here, Mika. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> what else do I need? And next you get to pick between these two socks right here. Whoa, check out these socks. They have grips on the bottom. Why are there grips on these socks? There's grips on the socks just to prevent you from slipping on the bouncy trampolines. Oh, good idea. Oh, and there's also blue and black and pink socks. I think I'm gonna go with the orange. These are super cool. So I have my wristband and my socks, and I know that there are trampolines here, but is there anything else that you have that's really bouncy? It's funny that you ask. I got a whole picture of bouncy balls right here. Whoa! There's so many. This will be the perfect way to experiment with why and how things bounce. Yes, Thanks, Quincy. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> it's so much fun to bounce. Whoa. <laughs> wow. Have you ever bounced on a trampoline before? It's so fun. And check this out. If you push down on a trampoline like this, see how it goes down? But if you don't do anything, it goes back to being flat. That's called elasticity. <laughs> and that's what makes it so fun to bounce on a trampoline. <laughs> wow, let's check out all of these different kinds of balls and see how they bounce. All right, let's see, we have a squishy orange ball here. Whoa! And look at this one. It's orange too, but it's smaller. Kind of looks like a ball pit ball. Oh, it's nice and light. I wonder how this one bounces. Oh, see ya! <laughs> Ooh, I love these. They're bouncy balls. <laughs> this is a nice green. Okay, ready? Oh, yeah, let me try again. <laughs> Here's another bouncy ball. Whoa! Nice job, bouncy ball. <laughs> Let's see what happens if we bounce the balls and I bounce at the same time. Woo! <laughs> hey! This woo, seems like a really fun space to play a game where you can bounce and throw these balls. Huh. If only I had some friends to play a game with. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey! Do you want to play a game with me? I would love to, Mika. Oh, awesome! But I got a friend with me as well. Oh, hey! This is Priscilla. Hi. Hi, Priscilla. I'm Mika. Nice to meet you. 
So, do you want to play a little catch on these trampolines would, and with these bouncy balls? I would love to play some catch, Mika. Okay. Yeah, me too. Oh, let's do it. Everyone grab a ball. Get one over here. Oh, I know. What if we threw and caught the ball? So we can throw to each other and catch at the same time. I Make like sense? That. I like that idea. I like okay, that. let's count to three. All right, ready? One, two, three. Whoa, we did it, nice. Can you do it again? Yes. All right, one, two, three. <laughs> awesome. One, two, three. Nice. Awesome. Whoa, I'm feeling nice and warm now. Me too. Whoa, what else can we play? We could play dodgeball. Ooh, dodgeball. How do you play dodgeball? Dodgeball is very simple. Hit or be hit. Oh, hit or be hit. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. Don't be nervous. It's real simple. All you got to do is duck, dodge, and throw the ball. Oh, I got you. Okay, so we're going to try and throw the ball to hit the other people, but you don't want to get hit. You want to dodge and get out of the way, right? Exactly. Okay. <laughs> I'm feeling ready. Are you? I think so. I hope you're ready. <laughs> All right. Let's go. Of course, Mika. Thank you for having us. Yeah, this was so fun. So much fun. <laughs> Woo! See you later. So, we learned that things bounce because of elasticity. Woo! And it's really important to get our bodies warmed up and stretched really good so we can be stretchy and bendy like elastic so we don't get hurt. And I really want to try an obstacle course so can you help me stretch and move my body so I can get warmed up and ready to go? Yes, of course. Let's okay. get ready for this obstacle course. Yes. Okay. Alrighty, so the first exercise we're gonna do, we're gonna put our arms like this. Okay. And we're gonna do a nice twist. Nice twist. All right, we're gonna switch arms again. Okay. Another big twist. Perfect. Okay, now we're gonna reach for the floor. Whoa. Whoa. And we're gonna hold it for three seconds. All right, one, one two. two. Three. Perfect. <laughs> Another big stretch. Whoa. Ready? One. One, two, two three. three. Perfect. Do you have Ooh. any other stretches that we could do? Hmm. Yeah. How about we grab our foot? You have to have really good balance and stretch your leg Ooh. that way. All right. <laughs> like <Ooh>. flamingos. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right. Try your other foot. All right. The other one. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> it's a little wobbly on this Whoa. one. Okay, perfect. Ooh, my legs feel nice and warm. Ready? My arms are stretched out. I think I'm ready for the obstacle course. All right, perfect. I hope you have fun. Thank you so much. All right. See you soon. See ya.
about when we're dancing and singing so loud get ready warm up now can you dance with me one two three do the bump baby bump on your toes yeah tip top move your feet to the beat and don't stop let me be bump on your toes yeah tip top move your feet to the beat and don't stop can you keep up really high and some bounced really low and I had fun bouncing too. <laughs> I hope you continue to learn with me. If you want to learn some more, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> okay. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Bye. It's me, Mika, and today I'm at Bubble Pop in Orange County, California. Have you ever played with bubbles before? <laughs> They're so much fun! Maybe you've used a wand and blew bubbles into the air, or maybe you've taken a bubble bath. <laughs> it's so fun! Well, at Bubble Pop, we get to play with bubbles all day long. Will you play with me? Oh, let's go! Whoa! Check it out! Bubbles! And, hey, do you know what this is? <laughs> a bubble wand! Whoa, and this one has a lot of circles on it. I wonder if that means it will make a ton of bubbles. Let's find out. Okay, get some solution on there. <gasps> huh. I'll just try again. <laughs> got two out. Do you hear that? There's air blowing out from these two places here. That must mean if I take the bubble solution, put it on the wand, and then put it on the fan. <laughs> That's so cool. Let's do it again. Whoa. <laughs> Look how many bubbles. Hey. Here's another bubble wand. It looks just like this one, but there's something different. That's right. There's a yellow circle right here in the middle. Hello. All right, let's try this one. <gasps> Whoa, even more bubbles. Wonder if I could do two at the same time. <laughs> okay. Three, two, one. Whoa! So many bubbles! Whoa, I'm gonna do it again. Three, two, one. Whoa! Wait a second. I have an idea. Check this out. See, there's a bunch of squares in here. Kind of looks like a big waffle. What would happen if I put some bubble solution on this and put it on the fan. Ready? Three, two, one. Wow! It kind of looks like the bubbles you would see when you're getting a bubble bath. I'm gonna do it again. Okay, ready? Three, 
two, one. <gasps> Whoa. <laughs> Bubbles are so much fun. I wonder what else we can do here. Come on. Whoa, look, even more bubbles. Whoa, but check out this bubble wand. It's a big yellow circle. One of my favorite colors. <laughs> See if I can make a bubble. Whoa. <laughs> oh, I caught it. <laughs> Do it again. <gasps> Whoa, that was a big bubble. <laughs> Hi. Hi. I'm Teresa from Bubble Pop. Hi, Teresa. I'm Mika. Nice to meet you. Hi, Mika. I'm so glad that you're playing with our bubbles. Yeah. Can I show you some bubble tricks? Oh, yes, please. All Let's right. see. So I saw you making a bubble. Uh-huh. All right. So we're going to make the bubble kind of like you just did and then catch it just like Ooh. you did. Whoa. Whoa. You have three <laughs> or more bubbles on your wand. Check it out. <gasps> Our bubbles came together what? and made a huge one. Whoa! <laughs> wow, bubbles All are right. awesome. What is a bubble? Well, I'm glad you asked, Mika, because you can see right here. See this film mm -hmm. on the wand? Yeah, it's like shiny. Yeah, it's our bubble solution. So usually bubble solutions are made of soap and water mm -hmm. and usually something else that's a polymer that will bind everything together. Water molecules love each other so much. They like to just hold hands and be really tight. And so they squeeze the soap molecule together. And that's why there's a thin film here that makes your bubble. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah. And when they do that, it's called cohesion. Cohesion. Yep, and that's what makes the bubble hold together just like this. Wow. <laughs> All right, you ready to do a bubble trick? Yeah. Okay, so because bubbles love each other so much, the water molecules inside a bubble, we can actually create a bubble inside this bubble. How? Do you wanna try it with me? Yeah. So I want you to blow very short first inside the bubble. <gasps> Whoa, do you see that? There's little bubbles in the really big bubble. Whoa. Whoa, <laughs> can I do that even in this little bubble? I think you can. Oh, I see a baby one. Yeah, <laughs> there's a tiny one right there. So instead of blowing bubbles inside a bubble, something else that cohesion allows us to do is put a bubble on any surface that we want to. Oh, okay. Like how about your hand? You wanna to try to catch one <gasps> yes, in your hand? Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so I will make a bubble for okay. you, and then you try to catch it with your hand. All righty. I'm gonna catch that bubble. Ooh, oh, that it was popped. So close. <laughs> it did pop. <laughs> so the most important thing about cohesion is that you need water molecules together, right? Is your, oh. Let me see your hand. It's oh, just it a was, little way. It was kind of dry. Yeah. Let's try it with a bunch of water molecules on it and then they can link together. Woo, okay. Get all the solution on my hands. Yes. I'm ready to catch this bubble. Okay, I am going to throw one at you. Oh, you did it, you caught it. I caught a bubble. Wow, that's Hello. so cool. Let me see if I can even pop it, but I wet my hand. So I think the water is gonna like each other <gasps> and I can put my hand in what? Inside your bubble. Teresa, you're a bubble magician. <laughs> was that cool? That was amazing. Do you want to see other cool bubble tricks? Yes, I do. Okay, come on, let's go. Right, come with us. Mika, wow. let me show you this <laughs> phantom bubble station. Phantom bubble station? Yes. Do you remember before how we made a bubble with just air in it? Mm -hmm. All right, well, this one, we're going to make a bubble, but it's going to be filled with something besides air. Oh, what is it gonna be filled with? Do you know what dry ice is, Mika? Yeah. <laughs> so dry ice is made of carbon dioxide, which is already in our air. We just breathe it normally. But what they do is they make it really, really tight so that it get things really, really cold. Oh, and way colder than the ice you would find in your refrigerator. Yeah, that's right. It's negative 100 <sighs> degrees Fahrenheit. That's Super cold. In fact, it's so cold, it's not really safe to touch. Mm -mm. So we never want to touch it. 
So what we do is we keep it nice and safe inside here, mm -hmm. but what comes out is the sublimated form of carbon dioxide, oh. which is this smoke that we see. Isn't yeah. that neat? So we can put it here in our bubble solution. We turn it and it can trap the, the fog inside the bubble. Oh, and look. now you have a smoke-filled bubble. That's really neat. Yeah. It was kind of like a crystal ball. Yeah, and you know what's really cool? Remember last time how we put a bubble in your hand? Yep. Would you like a smoke-filled bubble in your hand? Yes, I would, thank you. All right, let's <laughs> do it. All right, so do you remember the trick to how we always hold a bubble without popping it? Right, you don't want your hands to be dry. Mm -hmm. My hands are really dry right now, so I'm gonna put some bubble solution on them. They get nice and wet. Perfect. Okay. All right, and I will help you put the bubble inside your hand. Okay. All right, here we go. Get it on here, hold on. Why don't we, there we go. Look at that. Whoa. Whoa, now you have a smoke-filled bubble in your hand. That's so cool. You can't even see through it. That's how much smoke is in mm -hmm. there. Can you make it dance? <laughs> oh, come on, bubble. Yes. Oh, this bubble has moved. <laughs> Did you know that carbon dioxide is actually heavier than regular air? Oh. Yeah, so when we fill the bubble, mm -hmm. we use only carbon dioxide. So all you see is the smoke that's inside. Yeah, you can't see through it or anything. Nope, but if we make a bubble and we have both air and carbon dioxide, oh. we'll be able to see which one's heavier. How does it get in there? So we're gonna use this and we're gonna stick it right inside oh. here. Thank you for your help, Mika. Yeah. All right, Whoa. do you see that? Do you see how at the bottom, there's the fog, carbon dioxide smoke, and mm -hmm. then at the top, you can see that it's just regular air. Right. So even though it's both air and gas, one is definitely heavier than the other. Yeah, and it's going to the bottom. Yeah, and then look, now you have a smoke-filled bubble. Oh. Whoa. Do you want to see something, Mika? Yeah. All right. I'm going to make <gasps> a bubble arch. It's like a rainbow. All right. I'm going to make one more just for you. All oh, right. Thanks. Here we go. <gasps> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. All right. Do you want to try? Yeah. Thanks. So. Oh, look how big this bubble wand is. It's bigger than my head. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, get some solution on there, and... Whoa! Whoa, it was so pretty! That was awesome, great job! Thank you, and thanks for teaching me about bubbles and showing me all these cool bubble tricks! Yeah, no problem! I hope you're having a great time! Oh yeah! Have fun! All right, I'll see you later! Okay, bye! Whoa! She knows a lot about bubbles! All right, I'm gonna do another arch, ready? Three, two, one! Oh! <laughs> Wonder what else I can do with this big bubble wand. Whoa, look! It looks like a magnifying glass. Hello! <laughs> Whoa! Did you see that one? Oh, that one popped really fast. Whoa, that one popped fast too. I wonder if I can make one that will stay and float a little bit. <gasps> Whoa! Bubbles inside of a big bubble? Oh, that was amazing! <laughs> Whoa! raining bubbles on me.
We learned what a bubble is, and we learned how to do some really cool bubble tricks. Wasn't it cool to see that bubble tower that I made? Oh, and my favorite was the big bubble arch. That was so much fun. <laughs> Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. <laughs> well, thanks so much for learning with me today. <gasps> A bubble dance party. Let's dance. Today I'm at the Lang Foundation in Los Angeles, California. And here you can adopt a dog or a cat and then they can be part of your family. Oh, there's a dog right there. Oh, hi, I'm Mika. Hi, I'm Megan. Hi, Megan, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. This is Willow. Oh, hi, Willow. Oh, it's always important to ask before you pet an animal. Uh, can I pet Willow? Yes, you can. Okay. So just Crouch down so you're on her level uh -huh. and put your fist out so she can hey. smell you. Willow, Willow. Oh, what do you think? Aww. <laughs> so sweet. Well, are there more animals inside? There are. Oh, let's go check them out. So what is this little one's name? This is Sprout. <gasps> Sprout, what a cute name. Hi, Sprout. I have some treats for Sprout. Sprout allowed to have a treat? Yes, he okay. is. See, you want a treat? You think Sprout likes treats? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Can we bring Sprout down to the ground and yeah. see if Sprout will want to play with us? Oh, Whoa, cool squeaky toy. It's a pink snake. <laughs> so once someone adopts an animal, what do they need to take care of the animal? Yeah, so for dogs, they need a leash, a collar, a harness, um, food, bowls, uh, and a lot of toys. Whoa! Food, bowls, toys. It's a lot of work to take care of an animal. It they is. need a lot of things. Aww, and is it different for cats? Yeah, so cats would need um, also food, bowls, uh, litter box, litter. Um, some good things to scratch on. Oh yeah, cats love to scratch. And a safe <laughs> carrier in case you need to take them to the vet. Oh wow. So you get a lot of things once you adopt an animal here. Yes, yes, we give people some of the food that they've been eating, um, some toys. And where do you get all of these toys? They have so many fun things to play with here. We get a lot of it donated. Oh, People yeah? have extra supplies, they donate them to us, and yeah, it's a big help for us. Whoa, what a great idea to donate toys for these dogs and cats to play with. <laughs> oh, what's this toy? Where did these animals come from? So we rescue these animals from city shelters. Uh, basically, the shelters are crowded with animals, so we take them and find them new homes. Oh, that's really nice. And if someone wants to adopt an animal, what do they do? So we would have them come in and meet some of the animals. They'd fill out an application, and we would help them find the right animal that matches their family. Wow, that's awesome! It's so fun to play with cats and dogs, but it's also important to remember you have to take very special care of them. Whoa, come look at this dog. Whoa, what kind of dog is this? This is an American Bully Mix. American Bully Mix, whoa. This is a bigger dog, Oh, And she's so loving, what's her name? Uh, her name is Lady. Hi, Lady. Aww. So, so sweet. What's this? A blue, oh, like a little mouse with a super long tail. <laughs> Aww. This dog is so cool. Ooh, and I love the purple leash. One of my favorite colors. Love your leash. 
Oh, and what's on her belly here? Yeah, so she's definitely had a litter of puppies. Wow, a litter of puppies? That's so cool. How many puppies do you know? Um, I don't, but I think they can have up to 10 puppies. Whoa, that's a lot of puppies. Wow. Oh, well, it was nice to meet you. Thanks for playing with us. Louise is ready for her bandage change. Okay, great. Aww. Hi. So what room is this? So this is our medical treatment area. Oh, a medical treatment area. So this is where animals go to be taken care of if they're sick or they have, maybe they hurt themselves. What's wrong with her leg? So we rescued her with a broken leg. Aww. And yeah, now she has a cast on and she's healing. Oh, good. That must mean she's feeling better. She definitely is. Yeah, I can hear some purring in there. She's purring really loud. Yeah, cats purr when they're in a great mood, right? Aww. And why is she wearing a big yellow flower? She looks super cute, and yellow is one of my favorite colors. <laughs> so that's an e-collar, and it keeps her from taking her bandage off. Oh, that's so smart. And super cute. <laughs> are there other cats that we can see? There are. Oh, let's go see some more cats. Feel better. Cool. Welcome to the catio. Get it? Cat? Catio? It's the catio. <laughs> now they said that there are a lot of cats in here. Hmm. Will you help me find them? <laughs> awesome. Okay. Whoa. Look at all this. It kind of looks like something you would see at a playground. The cats can climb up here and they can scratch. <laughs> Come over here. Shh. I see a cat. Can you see it? Oh, it's sleeping. We found our first cat. Good job. Hmm. Oh, there's another cat over here. You see it? Hi, cat. That cat looks really soft. <laughs> and there's another cat. Hi, kitty. Wow, so we found one, two, three cats so far. <laughs> wow. Hmm. Do you see any other cats? <gasps> Come down here, all the way to the floor. There are two. Two cats in there. They're cuddling. I wonder if they're best friends. Oh. Hi. They're so cute. So we have one, two, three, four, five cats so far. I wonder if there's any more. Oh, wow. There's some water and some food in here. They take really good care of their cats. Hmm. Oh, look down here at these little boxes. See some blankets in here so the cats can be nice and comfy cozy. Oh, and look, it's a cutout of a cat face. That's cool. I don't see any cats though, do you? Hmm. Oh, I see one right here. Oh my goodness. Shh, this cat is taking a cat nap. Whoa, it looks really comfortable. I wonder if cats have dreams. Hmm. So, one, two, three, four, five, six cats. We found six cats. Thanks for finding cats with me. I wonder what else is here. Come on. Check it out! I'm in a cat room! This is where all the cats are hanging out, relaxing like this one. Whoa, hi, I'm Mika. This room is so cool. There's a tree in here. Whoa, I bet the cats like to scratch on the tree. Maybe they scratch their back on there. Oh yeah! <laughs> Whoa, and 
cool thing is to climb on. Look, a little cat toy, a little mouse. <laughs> what else is over here? Whoa. Do you know what this is? This long yellow tube? The cats can climb up here and then climb through the tube. Maybe you've done something like that at a playground before. They must have so much fun here. And in each little cubby is where the cat can go and have a little nap. Any cats in here? Oh, there's a cat in there. I didn't even know that. Hi. There's two cats in there. I don't know if you can see. There's two cats just hanging out. Oh, a teddy bear. I wonder if cats like to cuddle with stuffed animals. That's so sweet. Aw. Well, I have a cat toy. Have you ever seen anything like this before? Let's see if some of these cats want to play with it, okay? Um, <laughs> anyone want to play with me today? What about you? <laughs> this cat's like, Please don't bother me, I'm trying to take a nap right now. Okay, understood, understood. Okay, hey look, there's big bowls of water here because it's important for cats to hydrate, just like us. Hey, something else that they can climb on. And look, these little holes, these little hidey holes that they can just get all comfy. Cats seem to nap a lot. <laughs> hey, Megan. Hey. <gasps> Oh my goodness! Who Come is this? One more friend for you to see. This oh is Memphis. Oh my gosh! Can I hold Memphis? Yes. Oh, look at this little kitten. How old is Memphis? She's eight weeks. Eight weeks? Just a little baby kitten. Wow, Memphis is brand new to the world. Oh, Wait, is Memphis from Memphis? Um, I don't think so. I don't know how he got the name Memphis. Aww. It's a super cute name. So, Memphis is only eight weeks old. What does Memphis usually do? Um, he plays with his two brothers. <gasps> you have two yeah, brothers? Yeah, two brothers. Oh, that's so fun. Wow, baby kittens are so teeny tiny. Aww. It's so nice meeting you, Memphis. Oh my goodness. You do such a good job taking care of all of these animals. Aw, thank you. Aw. <laughs> well, thanks for letting me hang out with you, Memphis. <laughs> that was so fun, getting to hang out with dogs and cats today. We learned about how to take care of our pets and adopt them and make them part of our family. Oh, cats and dogs are so cool. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool! M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. <laughs> well, thanks for learning with me. See you next time. Bye. <laughs> Hi, it's me, Mika, and today I'm at the Gingerbread Factory in Leavenworth, Washington. This place is so cool because they're known for making gingerbread. Have you ever had a gingerbread cookie before? Oh, they're so yummy, and I love it when they have icing on them. I want to know how icing is made, and I bet I can find out in here. Come on. <gasps> Whoa, look at all of these delicious looking desserts. Hmm, but that's not the icing I'm talking about. Oh, look at these cookies, yum. But they don't have any icing on them. Hmm, let's keep going. Whoa, <laughs> look how big that cinnamon roll is. Ooh, and that has yummy icing on it. And these cookies, they're shaped like hearts. They're so cute. I really like this pink one with rainbow sprinkles. That's the kind of icing I want to make. <laughs> Hello. Hello there. I'm Mika, what's your name? I'm Ashley. Oh, nice to meet you, Ashley. You too. Are you a baker? I sure am. Oh, so I bet you know how to make icing. The sugary good stuff? Yes, that's my favorite. I sure do, do you want to know how to? Yes, please. All right, come with me. Oh, awesome, let's go. 
I'm so excited. Yes. So before we get to creating in the kitchen, we've got to wash our hands. Oh yeah, okay. let's get our hands clean. So excited to make icing. Okay, so first things first, get some soap. Wash my hands. It's important to have clean hands when you're baking or cooking so you don't get any germs in the ingredients. Keep everything nice and clean. All right. Whoa, that's a lot of I don't know what. Yeah, so friend, this is 10 pounds of powdered sugar. The first ingredient to making icing. That's a ton of sugar. Yeah. Do you want to dump it in the bowl so we can get started? Oh, sure. Okay. Oh, do I need to wear anything special? Oh, you're so right. We're going to have our apron. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Okay, this way we can keep all of the messes off of our clothes. Yeah, so right. Okay, so the first thing is gonna be the powdered sugar in this big bowl. Oh yeah. Okay. Whoa. Oh, it's heavy. Good Whoa. job. Looks like snow. Whoa. <laughs> Perfect. Look at this. Yeah. Now it's snowing in the kitchen. <laughs> There's still some more, there's more. Mm-hmm. All right. Oof, sorry for the mess, Ashley. Oh, you look <laughs> great. The next ingredient is meringue powder. Whoa, what is that for? That's to make the sugar whip together into icing. Whoa, okay. Maybe this will make such a big mess. Mm. Oh no, that was much better. Yeah. <laughs> Last but not least, we need the water to liquefy it. Oh, okay, the whole thing? The whole thing. Some water. Yeah. This is gonna make a lot of icing. Mm-hmm. And so I don't have a poof on me. <laughs> We're gonna have you mix that up till it's nice and liquidy. Whoa! You need some big muscles to mix all this icing together. <laughs> Oh, I can smell it. It smells really sweet. Mm hmm Round and round, get all the ingredients together. Okay, is that good? I think that's looking pretty good. Yay. All right. <laughs> Want to give that a little ting-ting? Okay, a little... A couple of tings. Uh -huh. <laughs> Two more. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to put this guy onto our lovely machine and we're gonna get to mixing until it's nice and wet. Wow, okay. Yeah. Wow. This machine is so cool. And so helpful. Yeah, it's gonna mix everything together to make a really nice, smooth icing. Mm-hmm. Because grandma's before had to do it all by hand. Wow. One, two, three. Whoa! It's so cool! Come look! Woo! <laughs> okay, I cleaned up a little bit. Now I'm really ready to make some icing. Just in time, it just got done. Oh, yes! Yeah, so actually, you wanna learn how to make a decorating comb? Yeah, that sounds so cool! All right, awesome, I'm so glad to hear that. So we got this bowl. Okay. All right, and there's a spoon already in there. Do you wanna scoop Ooh. a couple of heaping spoonfuls Ooh, out? Heaping, heaping, yeah. that means big. Okay. Oh, Whoa. yeah. Look at that! Some more in there. Mm -hmm. Wow, we need a lot of icing. Okay. Whoa. Perfect. Nice and fluffy. Look mm -hmm. at that. <laughs> okay. Okay. So next, you're gonna take one of these bags. Okay. And you're gonna fold it so we can hold it without getting our hands fold dirty. Fold it so you can hold it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Now what? Perfect. You're gonna hold it just like a cup. And here's your tip. Oh, thank you. This is what helps us push the icing through. Oh. And we're gonna slide it right on in, all okay. the way to the bottom. That perfect. Now you're gonna take your spoon and just put a couple of spoonfuls in there. <laughs> Not right. too much. Oh no, I'm gonna get messy again. 
It's okay. It's fun to get messy. Woo! <laughs> All right. Nice catch. Thank you, thank you. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Should I start squeezing it down? Push it down just a little. Push it down just a little. With it still folded? Fold it up. Okay. Fold it up. Yeah. Perfect. I'm gonna steal some too, so we're on the same page. Push it down. Yeah. See it? And I'm going to do just a little. How's oh, that? You did great. Yeah. So to make sure it doesn't all come out the top, mm -hmm. we have these lovely little clips. Oh, yeah. so you can fold it down. Fold it up. Fold it up. And around. Oh. Yeah. And then we push down. Push, push, push. Oh, perfect. Okay. Here's your lovely little clip. Thank you. Here's my lovely little clip. And we clip it on. Awesome, we're ready That's... to decorate now. All right, let's do it. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Look at all of this. I see candy. We could decorate with candy. And <gasps> there's so many different kinds of cookies. Wow, look at this. A little person. <laughs> it's so cute. And <gasps> do you know what color this is? It's one of my favorites. Purple. It's a purple. Rectangle. And oh, look at this really bright circle. It's orange. <laughs> Ooh, and here's one of my other favorite colors. Do you know what it is? Yellow. Nice. Kind of looks like a sunshine. And a blue square. Look at that. These colors are so bright and cool. And there's little circles. Look, they could be eyeballs. Hello. <laughs> All right, what should I decorate first? Hmm. Ashley, what do you think? Oh, well, if you don't want to use white, I made all these extra colors for you. You did? I did. Wow. I see purple and yellow yeah. and blue. Wow, okay, let's see. I think I'm going to make a little person. <laughs> Maybe I'll use purple because I love it so much. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna do a purple shirt. And yellow pants. And maybe some white curly hair. <laughs> and let's see. I'm gonna do a blue face. Eyes and a smile. <laughs> it kinda looks like my grandma. <laughs> Yummy. Woo! And maybe I'll decorate this one with a big yellow. See if you know what this is. It's the letter M for Mika. <laughs> oh, this is so fun. And it really makes it easier to decorate in these bags. Makes it easier to write things. Something. Oh. I'm getting pretty.
pretty good at decorating. Do you know who this is? It's you. That's right, and I made it just for you. Wow, thank you. You're welcome, and I also made, do you know? It's Blippi. <laughs> That's right, my best friend Blippi. I made this for you too. <gasps> thank you so much. Well, thank you oh. so much for teaching me how to make icing. Anytime, friend. Oh, well, I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs> wow, this has been so cool learning how to make icing and how to decorate cookies. Look, hello. Hello, we're best friends. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> Great! M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. All right, we'll see you soon.